sus under snail. It's under me. Did the did the smash announcer ever do like a sans? Is that a thing? Because I think it's just a costume, right? Yeah, no, so I don't think he says Sans. That would have been huge. I bet somebody, he probably like streams with Xander Mobus, right? Yeah, Xander Mobus. I bet he probably like streams and people have gotten to play Sans. Wait, is this name? Is this name Mobus? Or is it actually Morbius? Xander Morbius? <laughs> no. <laughs> is it Mobus? Morbius. <laughs> it's I'm Morbid. gonna Morb. It's Morbid time on the Wiimote. <laughs> I saw like the first iteration of that meme with like the Austin Powers thing. That was and, so funny. And I saw the second iteration of it like ten minutes later, and I was like, no, 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 no. But then it didn't. It actually it was not like a torrential flood of them. It was just there were a couple good ones straight away, and I liked yours too. It's. I just think. Because as a kid, I thought it was funny, yeah. but like memes weren't really a thing yet. Uh -huh. And so now I'm like, it's funny. Like this shitty Wiimote speakers. I just, I remember the Gandorf one really yes, well. Yes, we <laughs> He just yells. <laughs> I was literally just about to say the Gandorf was the funniest one. That was, I remember clicking it and like literally listening. I turned on and probably off the Wiimote sound effects because it made me laugh and also it was bad. Mm -hmm. Ah, good times. I love those shitty speakers. The other day I was like, for that meme, I was like, I'm just gonna look up those sound effects because I'm curious. And the thing is, the actual it, this is the speaker's bad, but also like the sound files for those are like just shit too. Like One they're bit. also bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I learned the other day that in melee, you, you know how like in you know there's the brawl thing where like the you or whatever when you select them. And in Smash 64, there's also like a little spinning avatar of the character and they go like, wah, pika pika, when you actually select them on the character select screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Melee, they were toying around with the idea of doing that, but they scrapped it. And there's a voice line for Captain Falcon when you select him that goes like, ah, and you can hear it. It's still in the game. Oh. It's just, they made it very, very quiet. Oh, weird. So if you listen very carefully while you're selecting Captain Falcon specifically. That's so strange. You hear, ah, in the background. Uh, but you just gotta like crank the audio. Oh, that's weird. Because clearly they're just like, oh yeah, just take them all out. And then somebody was like, just slam yeah. the volume down all the way. Also, different Captain Falcon skins have different hitbox sizes. Anyway, welcome to Undertale, everyone. Classic melee. <laughs> yeah, classic melee bullshit. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Luigi's down B. I saw this fucking image and it's like, oh hell no, not my son. You know, he's dragging his kid away. Mm -hmm. it, the kid was like trying to go to Marth and then it showed Marth turn around and grab the kid, but the kid was like way yeah. distant from the grab. I was like, that's so fucking good. Brilliant. Oh, I love memes. Okay. Undertale. Undertale. We're gonna tell you Undertale. We're not. We're not going on. I heard you playing Smash the other day. We're not gonna go down the Smash rabbit hole. Yeah, it's no. time. Undertale. Uh, Andrew, here's something to fill you guys in on the story so far. Uh, Andrew played the game mostly blind. I mean, he knows it's fucking Undertale. Yeah. On his own channel, like six months ago or something. Yeah, and I waited a long time. It was one of those ones where just like it was like too overhyped, and I missed the train when I needed to hit it. So everyone's like, it's so good. And I'm like, I know it's good, but I just, I can't play it. So I waited ages. Physically cannot. <laughs> uh, and it was really good. And so I played it through all the way and I didn't do, <laughs> I went, I did, I played it pacifist except for I killed Toriel. Yeah. It, Cause I just, I, and I'm sure, I think I know how you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, and we'll do it true pacifist this yeah. time. But I just like didn't know. So now I'm like, okay. So we transferred over his uh, save file to my computer, and now we got it at our lovely setup. Because we gotta, we gotta do a whole thing where, I, like, I have the setup for the two lavalier mics, so we had to like move it over to my room. Otherwise, we would have done this on his channel. But basically, also, it's kind of no spoilers, and it kind of goes both ways because he's played Delta Rune, and I haven't. Yes, <laughs> I'm ahead now. I've played Delta Rune. So don't give him spoilers on fucking Undertale, true pacifist or anything, or like genocide shit, and don't give me Delta Rune spoilers. Yeah, well, I, I won't say anything. So, uh, and I'm gonna try to, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep do my best to also not, of course, spoil things. I, I wouldn't want to do that. Also, I love this image. Do you remember this meme? Jesus Christ, I don't know if I do. I don't even remember the original context of it. It was some like shitty web comic, but it was like some person just getting relentlessly shit on, and at the end, they, it, it was supposed to be just like random people they encounter in the street just like shitting on them. But here it's <laughs> Flowey and uh, whatever. Frisk? Yeah, yeah. 
which I think actually that's a mild, mild spoiler. It's pretty famous information, but it's that will be something that's revealed. Oh, do we not know that their name is Frisk? We don't yet? know their name's Frisk yet. Actually, oh. I I don't know. I don't know if it was told to me. I, like I it's think it's like just super, I've seen it. It's not a super significant thing, regardless. Anyway, uh, let's get the Wario Land three music out of here. So if I had played it the way I played it and just didn't kill Toriel, yeah. would it have? Yeah. Would I've gotten the right ending right away? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, so I, had, I just like I had happened the exact to fuck same up. experience. I, I too, heard I that a lot of people yeah, kill Toriel in the beginning because it isn't abundantly clear. But uh, I think. One moment before. Yeah, here we go. I think I know what I need to do mm -hmm. to not kill her. Yeah. All right, sorry, I had to do a little alt enter action there to get the game to open. Uh, there's your my controller, steed, sir. Undertale. I'm not gonna be playing this at all. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here and go. Bah, 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 bah. It's gonna be like the forks in Rayman Origins that go. Bah, 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 bah. That's right, the forks. Oh, it's the Delta Rune. It looks like the Delta Rune character. Uh, Chris. Chris. That's the Delta yeah. Rune one. I love good pixel art too, and like I have nothing but respect for Toby Fox, really. Yeah, I learned the other day there was this dog shit game that I played called Luigi floating on an egg over the ocean. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm seeing memes about that. He made the soundtrack for it. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, cool. I saw for the new Pokemon game he has a, uh -huh. a song in it and I'm like, wow, like you really fucking did it. Yeah. And I mean, that makes sense. Like if you have a game as fucking popular as Undertale. Also the mountain is uh, Mount Ebot. Mount Ebot, I saw that. backwards, the guy's name is Toby Fox and it is uh, to Tobe. So that's just a little fun fact for you. <laughs> okay. It's pretty pretty clever stuff, right? <laughs> that's so cool. Do you know if you rearrange the letters in Lord Voldemort, you get Toby Fox? <laughs> okay, so I did. I played it through all the way, and I kind of got the lore that mm -hmm. Frisk fell down and was adopted, and there's no humans there, and people are scared of them. Yeah, it's like Monsters, Inc., basically. Monsters, Inc., Undertale. Uh, Press two or enter. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. So the end. That's me, Lark, level five. That's you. So I'm just gonna continue. If you continue, it just takes you to the last save point. I, I tried it off stream. Oh, so I gotta do reset. I think we gotta do a reset. Yeah. Okay. And I gotta do it. Um... A name has already been changed. Yes. The... Ah! 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 Lark jump scare. Oh my god! It's coming. So Lark already got the like little post-game spiel from Flowey on stream when he did this previously. Yeah, and that was awesome. I I love any game uh, that kind of does some fourth wall stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I know like the classic is, what was that one weird anime girl game? That one's like the most recent meme. Oh, Doki Toki Literature Club? Yeah, th I wasn't the biggest fan of that game, but I liked how it like yeah. did fourth wall. Remember. Hey, remember, don't kill anyone. <laughs> I can't believe this is a real thing, I have to remind you. <laughs> it's fine, because I took a while. Okay, so we interact with Flowey in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It's been but a it, while it, since I played it. But it was very different this time, of course. Yeah, I'm all right. We skipped all the bullshit about uh, trying to kill you. I'm gonna probably skip most of the dialogue, because uh, I've read it all. Yeah, and make, make sure to like skip it, because some things do change. Okay, yes, I've fallen down. But, but yeah, you can you can kind of breeze through it. I'm not gonna kill you this time, Toriel. I swear. I'm sorry. I killed you last time. <laughs> she is like Toriel's like a jebate, like the biggest jebate of all time. A jebate. Yeah, because like you know, I don't know if you remember the exact circumstances where she died, but it's like the game kind of tries to casually lead you in the direction that you just need to get her at low health and then she'll be like, spare me, and then you can Yeah. yeah. But uh, when you get her down to like a third of her health, then it just crits and insta-kills on the next hit. Dang. So it's like they were trying to like bait you into attempting to do... Like, Almost to force of, you to do it again. <laughs> more standard RPG shit, yeah. Which is kind of a trick like right at the beginning. And I had a very similar thing happen. Yeah, I think I've like heard, because I've heard a lot of... I guess really she's just did. introducing puzzles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because she's she literally handholds you through the tutorial. She solves the puzzles for you. Now, so if I recall, it has been a while, and I I think I can separate Delta Rune and Undertale pretty. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it down just a tiny bit, just a smidgen. Um, but so forgive me, this is a Delta Rune thing. Is there like a frog or something weird in this room? Uh, if we go back. 
In this area, later on, there's a secret frog. I will direct you to the secret frog. Okay, like, because I know this game is, like, full of joy and secrets and stuff, uh -huh. and I don't know a lot of them. Look, I pushed the button. I'll push this one. Not this one. Splendid. Yeah, I... Someone said, love, love, love this music. I think the soundtrack's one of the best things about this game. And that's like what Toby Fox is effectively yeah. known for. I mean, in Amori, he has a couple songs too, which are kind of fun. Uh -huh. Monsters, oh no. Worry not. So do you remember there was a dummy that got angry at you? Yeah. Later on in the game? There's this sort of implication that all the dummies in this world have ghosts, like, living in them. Because, like, even this one, I think, actually under certain situations can, like, speak or, like, show emotion. Oh. And the, the later ones do, too. It's kind of weird. Talk. Yeah. Doesn't seem much for conversation. I think this one can, like, show emotion. You won. You did. It. Oh, so look, I, I didn't, I don't know what I did uh, the last time if I fought it or if I talked to it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Very you good. are very good. Thank you, I am very good. It's because I acted. I wonder if you if you hit it, did she go, you are very bad. No. No, she so, kind of just grins and bears it, even if you like, kill all the enemies <laughs> in the ass. I'm an evil son. I love how just like, I love just the look of Frisk. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very classic, but like just goofy, like the weird little chubby arms on the side. Very asymmetrical in basically every way. Which is fun, yeah, because one of the legs is bigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's great, it looks great. And there's, great. A, there's a sort of recurring joke in this game that kids wear striped shirts. There's like a monster kid that has like stripes like baked into like the skin of its like torso or whatever. <laughs> and uh, it's just a mother reference because all three protagonists of the mother series have striped shirts. Oh, that's actually so funny. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh. oh yeah, she just gives it a nasty look. That's cute, like leave my son alone. <laughs> That's actually so cute and there are like squinty eyes. Mm -hmm. Very good job. I feel like, did Toby, Toby Fox did everything in this game, right? Like sprite work and everything? Uh, some of it was oh, the, Temi Chang. That's right, the little cat yeah. lady. <laughs> uh, but I feel like this, the sprites do a very good job yeah. at showing emotion and stuff in a very simple way. Oh, I'm scared, Mama. But it's all very cute and charming and feels kind of like ramshackle at the same time, I think. I think it was a good decision to make the in-battle sprites black and white, because that's just like, it's kind of like, it adds to the lo-fi aesthetic, but it's also less work you have to do, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, for a, for a solo or duo indie developer. And it kind of, it feels like a stylistic choice too, mm -hmm. which is clever. Also seem a little dangerous, I like that. So what happens if I were to like... Oh yeah, they thing. also, they just recede when you walk over. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I like that, it just like takes your hand, like I'll just mm -hmm. show you. Oh, a difficult request. They do a great job of making you fucking love this character right before you rip her fucking heart out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll walk to the end of the room myself. I'm scared. There was also uh, the demo of Undertale. I think you could attribute a lot of the game's success to a really good demo, and it was just this first part. It like ended right after Toriel. Oh, really? So it's just kind of like an introduction to how sort of like cute and quirky and charming the game is, and then also to the whole like pacifist genocide thing. And then, Fun. yeah, which I think got a lot of people hooked real good. Yeah, monka the S, monka S. Oh, I found her. She's hiding. <laughs> I love. I think there's. I think it's this game where you like hide behind like a lamp yeah. that's like perfectly shaped like you. I think this game has the like perfect humor, and I mean, there's yeah. a reason why it resounded with so many people. But like, really, good the jokes. humor is funny. The jokes always hit. Mm -hmm. You're trusting me. Oh, wow, I did it, too. I'm scared. This is like when you were at the mall or whatever and your mom was like, stay here for just one moment, and you're like, oh, God! Yeah, I remember one of the first times, like, my mom, like, left me alone in the car. She, like, went into the... It was like, oh, we were, like, doing some errands. Oh, I need to go home and, like, get my checkbook or something. She, like, pulled up into the front driveway, went into the house. I was in like the back seat in the like, car seat. And I was like, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. I'm in the car alone. And like five seconds later, I was like, no, fuck! <laughs> I distinctly remember this. I remember like, I had this like blanket I used to carry around as a kid all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was so attached with it. And I was like, I'm, you know, this blanket. And for some reason I was like, you know what? I'm done. 
done with this fucking blanket. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> my grandma was like, because she was babysitting me at the time, she's like, you love that blanket. And I'm like, no, I'm done with it. And I threw it in the trash can, slammed the door, and I went and sat down on the couch. And she was just kind of like expectantly looking at me. And I remember sitting there for like maybe two minutes. And then I was like, oh God, what have I done? And then I ran in the fucking laundry room and grabbed it out of the trash. Excuse me, human. Someone said, Toriel is such a nice and comfy character. Yeah, she is. It would be such a shame if someone were to, I don't know, make six billion explicit images of her and post them on the internet. Oh no. I, uh, one time when I played Undertale, I fucking, I think because you messaged me, I labeled the stream Undertale as if like, Oh it's yeah! Tale. And, I, and you were like, uh, that's like the porn name for Undertale. And I was like, Oh no! Yeah, Toby Fox himself, right when the game was, like, I think before the game even came out, he was like, I know people are gonna try to make porn of these characters, so please tag it Undertale with T-A-I-L, you know. So he was the one who even said it. Yeah, he's responsible for that. You better not take, it ruins your pacifist if you take more than one. I will only take one. It's not actually. Does it right, actually, but... again, sorry, please take one. It's just, it's like. But it's nice to just take one. It's like the shopping cart thing, like, Nobody's, you could not put the shopping cart back. It's yeah. truly up to you. Yeah. It gotta be nice. So, grass. All right, you said to me the other day that you intend to also do the genocide route. Probably. Like, and you said that it ruins your save file or something, but like- Not really. No, no, no. Okay. It just permanently alters one tiny aspect of your save file. Just out of curiosity, and mostly because at some point I'm gonna do Delta Rune Genocide because it total the game totally oh, yeah. changes. And okay. I mean, this one does too, because like, I, yeah, I, like I know that the Sands, like that's the iconic music is the mm -hmm. Sands fight, and that's I think you have to do Genocide to get the Sands fight. Yeah, uh, which I don't really know too much about it, but oh, it's flattered. Uh, all I would say, I'm, I mean. More power to you. I personally never did it because I heard it was just a huge fucking pain in the ass. Oh, really? Uh, where you just like, you just grind a ton because it's like oh, you have need to, XP and stuff. Because you have to actually exterminate every area. There's like a set number of encounters in each area. Oh, you so you, like I have to kill like five frogs in this area? Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I won't do it. I just sort of figured maybe it's on my to-do list. There's, uh, there's a very popular like save file mod for this game that just lets you skip to all the cool, unique boss fights of genocide mode or genocide route without have, having to actually do. But then you also... It is cool because of how much the game changes and how every, I don't know, it's like all the NPCs treat you completely differently in genocide mode. That's cool, I like that, like yeah. they're scared of you then. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, You, it, it could be cool to do if, if you're down to do it, but just keep in mind that it is very tedious. Okay, I'll like, I'll look into it a little bit to see. Yeah. I also, I think maybe this dialogue is different. She was like, I feel like I know you. Oh, when, nice. All the humans that fall down feel like an old friend. Yeah, I love shit like that. Yeah, that's nice. When I, my personal story for, oh God. <laughs> for I how I did the, uh, you know, you have like the whole reset thing. At a certain point, like halfway through the game, you fight that like spider chick. Remember that Muffet? Yeah, Muffet. And you have the thing from the spider bake sale and you like eat it in front of her and she's like, oh, you bought something at the spider bake sale. You're chill, we're not gonna fight you anymore. And uh, I was struggling on that fight and I had not bought anything from the spider bake sale because I just didn't have the money for it. And then it locks you out of the ruins after you leave the ruins. Oh yeah. So, uh, I don't know if I... I think I fought her. You you maybe just got through the fight. I, yeah, I don't I, think I ate, I didn't know if I knew that was a yeah. thing. But I, uh, I, I was like struggling on that fight and I was like, you know what? I know I've heard that you do like, you know, the pacifist route on this game. And I accidentally killed Toriel at the beginning too. So I was like, I'm just gonna go back and not kill Toriel this time. You know? Oh, nice. Uh, and when I reset, to, this, this was one of the most chilling moments I've ever had in any video game. Flowey at the beginning, called me out on doing that exact thing. There was like specific dialogue. Oh, seriously? But she was like, oh, I, I bet you think you're so clever. You reset, but you you just felt bad that you killed Toriel. And now, you're, and now you're restarting. And it was like, I think like the encounter with Flowey like starts out the same as it used to. And then she kind of goes like, hey, I know what's going on here. That's awesome. And that was like my first exposure to 
the whole, like, all the, like, save, like, reset fuckery, basically. I was like, whoa, holy fucking shit. It kind of blew me away. That is cool. That's just, that's, like, just a clever thing to add. I don't yeah. know, that's just raw cool. I mean, that's, like, I feel like, you know, does that mean I can mercy him right away, actually? It's just already yellow. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. The sexy wiggle. <laughs> and I love that, like, there's... They have kind of unenthusiastic attacks. Too. Yeah, just like... <laughs> like the frog that just goes like... Uh, just like barely <laughs> tries. <laughs> Good for early game, folks. I think... Like, I won't say too much about Deltarune, but I think one of the things that it did a lot better is the fighting is like... Mm, very nicely fleshed out in Deltarune. Good. I've been playing a lot of like bullet hell games recently, so... Maybe I'll be able to fucking... I heard, all I know about Deltarune is that Jerma first tried Jevil. That's all I know. Oh, Which yes. apparently is difficult, optional boss or something. Yeah, they always, they give you a couple of those. So, uh... Shit. Maybe I'll be able to fucking destroy the game, or maybe I'll get annihilated. I remember struggling at Undertale the first time I played it. Like, getting stuck on a few of the major bosses. Fuck! <laughs> oh, it's not. Okay. I was like, I wanted to like read that sign, and then I was like, ah. oh god, now I'm confused though. Yeah. Oh, wait, how am I? Okay. Froggets. Mercy. Okay. Spare. Meow. Little flies. It's also a fun, kind of unique fighting. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a game that kind of. Yeah. It's an works. avoid em up. <laughs> an avoid em up. Yeah, like that's just, it's a good idea. Yeah. And it works. It definitely seems like Toby Fox enjoys a bullet hell, but, uh,. Didn't want to just make a bullet hell, so they kind of like made this little hybrid thing. I'm not usually the biggest fan of like action RPG hybrid system, but, but some games, I mean, I just beat Mario and Luigi Partners in Time as well. But this game and like that series and Paper Mario and shit do it really well. Yeah, Paper Mario, and from what I saw, it looked like the fighting in uh, Partners in Time was cool. Looked fun. They nerfed Jerma. <laughs> Damn, they should be nerfing Jerma. I like how the frog, it has eyes under its legs. I never really understood exactly what was going on Oh, I didn't realize there. they're blinking. It's got a little, like, Octorok stuffed under there. Huh, you I never thought about that. You can see him really in the overworld, that. too, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, it, it, I, I like the surreality of the designs, too, in, the, in combat. Whoa, there. Hmm. So this part was still in the tutorial, like, or the, you said the demo or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just all of the ruins up until you get, get to the snowy area. This fucking asshole. Come on, go back to the button. Hmm? I mean, because it's pretty clever. Like, the rock doesn't want to be pushed. Yeah, some of these parts can be a little annoying on the replay through. Yeah, because you're like, he's okay. still not done. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Okay, stay there. <laughs> what a dickhead. Haha. -ha. That's a very earthboundy thing, though, giving a character to just a stone. Yeah. <laughs> or something, just like, just nothing. Just nothing. As a character. Ooh. There's the cheese. Quite a long time. Stuck to the table, gross. I love the filling with determination. Oh, Yay. the ghost. It's our boy. Oozley or whatever its name is. It's Napsta Blook. Napsta Blook. And he's a Napster reference, too. Oh, of course. Napster. I think, like, when he wears his headphones, he kind of, like, looks like the Napster logo. What was Napster? It was a music sharing website. Okay, like that's right. Like, the late 90s, I think. I would never move it with force. Why do I have to move it with force? Yeah, I think you have to, but... Thankfully, things like that don't... They don't break your pacifist run. Yeah. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> Napster yeah. Luke. He's a napper. I love the music, too. Cheer. Boozley. Patient smile. I have a, uh... He's quiet. I bought a bass guitar in, like, 2016. So I was like, I'm gonna learn how to play an instrument besides the fucking trombone. I did not. Spoiler alert. But I, <laughs> I got a little sticker. I, I had a little sticker of Naps to Look, and I put it on there. That's cute. So I always think about that fucking bass guitar gathering dust in some closet somewhere. <laughs> I got my bass guitar. No stickers on it, though. He's crying up. He's making a little hat. My dapper bluke. It's such a fucking dog water shitter joke, but we clap because it's Naps to Blook and he's our friend. We love him. We His hat has a little hat. hole in it. He's like Birdo. He's gonna launch eggs out. <laughs> it's a place to shoot eggs. It's a little uh, stovepipe hat. 
Oh yeah, there was an Earthbound sample in that song. The part that was going, the little voice sounding thing. Oh yeah. That was uh, Lady Venus from Earthbound. That's cute. It's funny because I remember you told me about like how, how many samples Earthbound uses and shit. Yeah. And, I was, and so it's fun that like, obviously this game's a love letter to Earthbound and I've never played Earthbound or whatever, so I don't know too much about it, but it's like fun that it also samples Earthbound, which is like the and cycle it, continues. And as, we, uh, as we've discussed before, it even samples a, a thing Earthbound samples a thing, and then Undertale samples that sample from Earthbound, which is amazing. That's and we'll nice. see that during this playthrough. Very nice. Okay, so there's so there's what you mean where it has the eyes underneath. Mm -hmm. Huh, weird, it's like a little dude hiding under. I used to think that was their balls. There, there's like some coral reef kind of Pokemon. It looks like the one of the enemies that we fought too, and it's like evolution, it's like two little things come out as little eyes, and it kind of looks like uh. that. Pressing X. Pressing X. Is this, uh... One of these guys has a really weird thing where you can change the text color in the game to yellow for the entire playthrough if you, like, do a certain thing talking to him. Seriously? One of these frogs? Yeah, I think it's, like, the next one over. This is also the room with the secret frog. Four frogs? Four <gasps> frogs. What I've only mean? seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. Maka S. Maka S. So I think this last frog here is the weird text color one. That's actually, okay, what do I, should I make the text yellow for the rest of the game? I don't know, you, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, I'm we'll kind of tempted might, if I can figure it out. Pink or something. Jaundice text. Okay, thank you. Want to leave the room and you probably guess, okay, thank you. Whatever you say. Quite merciful for a human. You can spare it. What do you think of that? So I think if you say it's bad, then he'll change the text color for the game. If you want to do that, you can do it. Sure. Yeah. Tell a friend's friends. Never, Never use, use yellow, yellow names. names. No more yellow. <laughs> Is it so it's pink or something? Yeah, I think. How are you doing without the yellow names? Weird. <laughs> Bring them back. It's great. It's great. Oh, yeah. Huh. So I can go. And so, I also, I think one of these little, like, holes in the wall is, like, you inspect that, and there it will give you dialogue about the fourth frog. Okay, interesting. I'm actually gonna Google this, because I can never... Last time I played this, I, I was like, oh, let's talk to the fourth frog, and I couldn't, like, find it for a really long time. Looks. Looks. Mike Wazowski looking ass. Yeah. Just I don't think somebody in the gets intro. it. In, like, the fake intro, actually, later on. Earlier in here. Oh, sh I just spared him, and I don't know if his name was Yellow. <laughs> I wonder if it's, maybe it's just they're all white now. Huh. Okay, so, oh, I just saw something. What did you see? I don't know. Something down here. Mmm. You know what I bet that was? It was Flowey. Oh, maybe I saw that before, too, but didn't register what it was. Yeah. Oh, Flowey's peeking in on you if you go back. Fourth frog. Yeah, I don't know if I ever encountered. I think I saw because I think people. I think I when I played this before, I was like, "What is this about the fourth frog? There's got to be a fourth frog." And then I think I walked back and saw the flash of Flowey, but I don't know if I re realized that it was Flowey. Yeah. Okay, it's like directly between the first two frogs. It seems in the wall. Also, uh, someone said make him pink by talking to the frog again. Oh, I okay. See. Okay, well, let's make him pink by talking to the frog again. Hello. Make him pink. I'm doing fine without yellow names. Huh. Well, maybe I gotta say, bring them back. Yeah. A banana, a banana themed, themed monster. monster. Bring them back. Surely that would just make them yellow again. Yeah, we'll do this now. <laughs> <laughs> I've had <that> pink names. <laughs> wow, pink is the new black. Okay, that's cool. That's funny. Hope you're satisfied. Oh, okay. I've never actually seen that dialogue. Okay, so like directly up at the wall between the two frogs. There you go. An ant-sized frog in the crack. It waves at you. Wow, there it is. Wow, that's great. <laughs> the fourth frog, it was real all along. It was just very tiny. Just couldn't see. One switch. Okay, thank you. Pink names for pride month. There's some uh, stuff down there. It's a unique overworld sprite for the fucking, like, carrot enemy, I think. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I think it's the only time it shows up in the game. 
wiggle your hips. What a meaningful conversation. Oh yeah, so the, these little fuck faces, the little dude with the pincers, he, uh, he always acts super agitated when there's someone else around him. Nice, there's a pink name. And then but as soon as they leave, he starts dancing. He's dancing, he's having a great that time. Before, but I just love that guy. Fair, okay. And that's fun, pink. Huh, that's so funky. Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to remember which is, oh, this is, there's a switch. Oh, that's the bloke. Nice. And, there's the carrot. Oh yeah, there is carrots. I'll go, I'll go check out the carrots too. No, I can't get up. Go on without me. Oh well. Bye. <laughs> I love maps to like. You ever see the movie Ghost Story with Casey Affleck? He's a ghost oh. and he's just a dude wearing a sheet, and that's oh. like him as the ghost. Yeah, I've seen uh, pictures of that. It looks neat. Vegetoid. It's an Andrew movie. Vegetoid resident sleeper. Plants can't talk, and he's talking. Cackles. Okay, can I spare you? No, not yet. Dinner. Dinner. Fucking, uh, what's the name of the king on Salty Bet that y'all used vote for? Oh, yeah, uh, I don't remember his name. There was a specific, like, King Harkonnen edit. The king. Dinner. That was a good one, because he goes, he throws all the food dinner, at dinner. 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 And he would always, like, just get whatever enemy was there, just, like, in the corner, just stun-locking them with dinners over and over. And the classic dinner maneuver. Dude, I wanted to get... I, I had... I was editing uh, Street Fighter last night, and I fucking... I, there was a little thing that was, like... I was like, oh, this is a trope that I think also appears in Skullgirls. And I, like, made it... I was like, oh, that's a classic fighting game trope, and I wanted to get an example of it. So I was like, oh, I'll just play Skullgirls a little bit and, like, do one of the story modes, because there was something I wanted to record and playing that game i'm so excited i i want to wait for us to get through all other like fucking men like normal fighting games before we get <laughs> to that because it like references and takes influence from like all of them oh that's but, cool uh i've only heard good things such an unbelievably fucking fun game oh yeah this whole puzzle is kind of weird but just oh my god that's that's all i have to say I like, I like recorded the bit and then I was like, I have to keep playing Skullgirls for like 20 minutes now because it's just addictive. The hits just feel good. The hits just feel good. And the animation is great. That's nice. <clears throat> I feel like I've, a big band is just such a cool character. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I, I was play. playing basically exclusively big band. <laughs> Eat your greens. I like that as like a, you can heal by hitting the green ones. And then that makes them happy. That They're here for your health, you know. They're here for your health. Pat my stomach. A healthy meal. It's vaguely creepy, too. It is kind of weird. You're like, mmm. <laughs> it's like, where are those vegetables coming from? <laughs> How are you producing them out. those? So if I were to do, like, so if I was doing uh, uh, genocide, like, I would have to kill a certain amount of those carrot dudes, yeah. like, in these areas. Yeah. Even if I'm sparing them, if they're only a certain amount. Yeah, but I... Well, I don't know exactly how it works, actually. I think there's like a certain amount, but the number of them only goes down if you kill them, not if you spare them. Okay, that makes sense. So I think you're just like, you'll get them occasionally forever if you... I don't know. I think there are certain areas where you can, like, kind of purge an area by sparing enough enemies. I don't know how it works. So, yeah, I would be, uh, I mean, Genocide Run could be entertaining. Someone in chat said it wasn't that grindy, I don't know, I've just heard it's not terribly fun to, like, to just moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, because a lot of it is, you can only get random encounters when you're moving. So you just gotta, like, run around over and over again. There's a certain exploit, I'll show you how to do it, uh, it's pretty easy, that people do to just sit in one spot. Just hold, uh, up on the joystick for movement and down on the D-pad. There you go. Oh, whoa! That's how people do it. They just sit in one spot up against a wall and uh, grind for encounters there. Oh, interesting. Wow, you really can go brrrr. Yeah. Funny. You really said brrrr. You really do be saying, oh shit, green, oh. Yeah, so th oh. this whole part, it's the same exact room, but rotating the view so you can't see the like switches behind the pillars. Classic, Green. okay. Some basic ass puzzle yeah. stuff. I like how it also is pretty good at, like, um, <laughs> uh, 
when the enemies combine, they have yeah. like unique uh, fight patterns. And I'm yeah. getting my ass whooped. Should I eat my spider bake sale thing? No, I can do it. Maka S, Maka S. I won't die. I'm totally gonna die right here. <laughs> okay, nice. fine. Mercy. Smells like eye drops. There's like a running joke of smells like blank being a descriptor in this game. <laughs> Smells like bone powder or whatever. I don't even remember. There's like, there's seriously like a hundred different iterations of that. Weird. It smells like, okay. It's kind of, in Dota, there's the, their weird iteration thing is they always say, here's blank in your eye. They always say that. Huh. Like, I'm going to put blank in your eye and everybody has their own. <laughs> I'm going to put my dick in your eye. Yeah. What's with this dead tree? It's the ruins. It's a ruin. What do you want? Sense. All the leaves <laughs> fell, very obviously. I guess. I've heard some people say that like each zone represents a different season. Okay, this is like fall. this is fall, then winter, uh, then I guess uh, spring is like the water zone. That's a bit of a stretch. And then there's like the yeah, heat, sure. heat, summer core. It's kind of a stretch. I don't really. Shit like that, it's just like, oh yeah, Ash okay. is in a coma, sure. Yeah, okay, whatever. All the kids next do door are in a coma. I'm in a coma. Everyone's in a coma. Literally everyone's in a coma. Tommy from Rugrats in a coma. Between you and me, Toriel came out of here a little while ago, carrying some groceries. Can I go in? What is this? Oh! Mm. I don't know if I went this way before. Mm. Toy knife. And this city uses the same exact sprites, I'm pretty sure, and looks very similar to uh, the city at the end of the game. Cool, that's fun. And I got yeah. the toy knife. Maybe I did go that way, I don't know. Yeah, it's like the first like basic weapon, but you're not gonna be using it. Nope, picked it up just for completionist and sake. You but... technically can attack in this, in, in the pacifist playthrough, but I don't know, I personally like to not slice yeah. and dice the enemies, especially because I'm traumatized after Toriel. Yeah. Oh God, this song is good too. Snail pie, thank you. The soundtrack to this game has 101 songs. That's a lot of songs, It is man. a lot of songs, and some of them, it kind of feels like maybe Toby Fox stretched it a little bit to get to 101. Like he just kind of put in whatever. One of them is the sound effect that plays when you ride the long elevator to like Asgore's room at the end of the game. No, sure, it's like not even really a uh -huh. song. It's just a sound effect. But, uh... Yeah, and there's a few like that, but it is a fantastic soundtrack, even with some of the like kind of joke inclusions. A lot of the songs are really good. Yeah, and lots of good uh, the head pads, lots of good sort of theming, like late motifs and shit. Where the 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 oh, a piece of pie. Different like you know tunes and aspects of different songs will like show up just all over the place. That's nice. I and love to a, to a kind of shocking degree too. He's good at what he does, I guess. There's some kind of uh, like I remember in Inception, where they would play that one like French song slowed down. By, like, oh yeah, Edith Piaf. There's kind of some shit like that, which is pretty cool. Water sausages. Yeah, read the circle passage. <gasps> She's Papyrus. making bone jokes. Bone -ly. Bone -ly. Jokes of a similar caliber. No, I like how it's like, that's kind of indicative of Flowey up there, like the yellow. Yeah. Do me a favor, actually, and talk to the cactus in the corner. Oh, hello, cactus in the corner. Yeah. The sundered of plants. That's a very memed upon line. Just Why? a regular old bucket of snails. Of snails. This is the exit. What is this? Oh, no, that's the brother's room, maybe, or something. Here's the famous mirror. It's you! Despite it all, it's still you. Is yeah. That, uh, this game? Yeah. Despite everything. Toriel, I have my pie now. I'm going to come kill you. Actually, I guess maybe I should just go down here and have her stop me. I think you have to, uh, I think you have to talk to her in the chair. Oh, okay. Hello. Mama. Mommy. I'm going to kill your husband. <laughs> Old books. Favorite bug hunting spot. No, no, that's not gonna happen. She always wanted to be a teacher. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Very curious, everyone. Man, she has all of her blood still inside of her. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> not for long. So to use her snails. 
how, how to, to exit, exit the, the ruins. ruins. I like how I like how sort of cold that response is. Yeah. How to exit the ruins. <laughs> and the ruins are capital too. Yeah. How to exit the ruins. I really enjoy in combat, there's this feature of this game where some of the text, like the letters will just shake a little bit. And it's not even like the character's voice is like quavering with emotion or whatever. It's just like words will just go like bloop, bloop, every once in a while. It's a really weird, subtle little effect, but huh. it's, it's kind of neat. It home. adds to that sort of otherworldliness. Yeah. It, and it's kind of weirdly, I don't know, it's like fourth, it's like how if the ruins is pronounced in blue, it's like everyone will pronounce it in blue, mm -hmm. which is kind of a weird way everyone to... Everyone threw out all their yellow names already. We've still got our pink ones from <laughs> last year. And you can just barely see the pink, too. Mm -hmm. It's the same fate. I'm not going to be evil. I'm not going to die. I'm going to leave, though. I kind of wish it was a bright, vibrant pink, but it is kind of a shrimpish pink. Hey, Asgore! That's it, the red. <sighs> oh my god. He will kill you. No, he won't. He'll let me they go. Call him Asgore because we're gonna gore his ass. Nice. The horn go about to go through it. I want to leave. Fight me. Prove yourself. Strong enough to survive. Oh, do you mm. know something that I do not? You look like you've seen a ghost. What's, what's wrong? I'm just trying to kill you. I saw a Napsta Bluke. What, there? No, I mean, that's like, oh. <laughs> You've seen a ghost. Snaps to flick. <laughs> I was like, what, he appeared like Flowey? What? I didn't know about that. <laughs> oh, you saw her die. Yeah. It's fucked up. That's creepy. <laughs> Whoa, so it even knows that, like, this is the one person that I saw yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. It's kind of like the tutorial of, well, in multiple senses of, uh, Doing the pacifist round. Dang, that's cool. Okay, yeah, so I kind of forgot about the you say that you watched her die. Watched her die. So now, if this is the one that I haven't done. Uh, mm -hmm. My sort of guess on how to not kill her is letting her kill you, and maybe she feels bad. I don't know exactly. Uh, not exactly. It do you mind if I say, because it's kind of dumb, actually. Yeah, tell me. You just spare her over and over and over. Oh, really? Spare yeah. over and over? Yep. Okay, that's actually not what I expected. I sort of expected, like, she would feel bad and stop yeah. hitting you if you are going to die. So, you can actually, uh, I'm gonna die. you probably got this uh, when you played this for the first time. When you're one hit away from death, she stops attacking you so hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, but you can totally get her to kill you. Oh, weird. You can, like, because her, like, uh, her attack like try not to hit you anymore she like sort of goes like oh, I'm attacking you but like not really uh huh uh, but you can like intentionally try to run into an attack and she goes like <gasps> and like covers her mouth and they just goes game over and you have to restart oh that's cute actually yeah it's like oh fuck but yeah you can like intentionally run into the bullets but I think it does just reset you basically ah okay she's acting at a loop I, I I think I had to like be told that this was the way you did this too because they establish earlier on you shouldn't use spare on an enemy unless their name turns yellow or in this case green. Yeah. Uh, but then here they like again it's kind of a jape. They kind of like break the rule. And I and I think cuz it also her like dialogue repeated itself a couple times. So I think I was like, well, obviously it can't be that. It's just repeating. Yeah. yeah. It's jape. It's total jape. Weird. And you have to like, you kind of have to do it like a little a few more times than you would like think, but once you see her doing unique dialogue every time you spare her, then you kind of go, oh. Yeah, you go, I see now. Also, one of the late motifs in this song, the ba -da -ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -da -bum, that shows up in Asgore's fight theme. Interesting. Too, which is really fucking awesome. That's one of my favorites. It's like they're a family or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one frog it that says you might have to do this at some point, but it's kind of vague. Oh, dang, the music stopped, and that's only spare. Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. That's good. I mean, that's like the other thing that I feel like he does really well is like that sort of, he somehow grounds you emotionally in something like this, where it's like, wow, the fighting stopped, the music stopped. Now it's like suddenly it has a lot yeah, more we're impact. Just having a heart to heart, yeah. She just wants, she's had like a bunch of kids come through here before. She just wants one of them to survive. <laughs> Literally one of them. Let me go. I need to meet Sans Undertale. I need to kill Sands. <laughs> Pathetic. 
Wow, that's that's sad. That is sad actually that she's like it's yeah. my fault that all these children have died. Oh yeah, she's got super survivor's guilt. Wow. My child. Oh. Sad. Nice. I wish to leave. There is a fucking by the way, have you heard of betrayal kills? No. In this game, if you do aww, aww a hug. If you take them all the way to the point where they've forgiven you and they allow you to spare them truly and you attack them it does like 9999 nine, nine, nine damage oh, and you get like special them. dialogue where they're like you monster oh basically. interesting yeah. brutal it's an especially brutal way to do genocide mode jeez also there's kind of a scrapped hard mode for this game too and at the end it was I, it's like Toby Fox only made hard mode for the first area and never did it for the rest of the game. And he said on Twitter at one point that the original idea was for Toriel when she's hugging you there to do like a German suplex on you, which then explodes what the fuck? to like end the game. And he was like, I decided to not do this. <laughs> oh, and that's the room where Flowey used to be gave you shit for killing her the first time. Oh, that you played this. Interesting. So Flowey's not even there now. Yeah. Toby Fox. I've used that sound effect so many times for games that are not Undertale. <laughs> it's a good, impactful sound effect. It's like bom, Vine bom. Thud. Bom, bom, bom. Mm. Mm. A camera hidden in the bushes. Oh, that's fucking weird. It's like Psychonauts. <laughs> yeah. The Milkman conspiracy. Do you know what that is? No. No, I don't know if I remember. Uh, the, the, you remember the yellow lizard... Uh, I actually am blanking on their name, and chat's gonna like fucking like literally stampede me for I'll this. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. But uh, they've been spying on you with cameras, and you sort of see them throughout the game. Oh, Alphys, thank you. Alphys, stick. It's a tough-looking branch. <laughs> I never inspected oh, that branch. I don't know if I did either. <gasps> oh, what was that? It snappied. What was that? I'm scared. Oh, Murray, Sands, Ness. Look at this. Oh! Oh, you almost, like, you, you, fucking imagine if it went doo -doo 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 -doo, and you just like da 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 oh, da 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 like bumped into him. Yeah, if you, if you manage to bump into him, then you get the fight this early on. I'm scared. <gasps> oh no. It's him! I feel blessed that I was able to play through this game, like, pre, like, Sans Crisis. Yeah. So this is just a character to me. Like, I yeah. just think he's just a guy in the game. He's just a dude. So I wonder why he, I mean, I guess he has the most funny dialogue and stuff. Because, like, why, did, why was Sans the one that was chosen? I think he was, I think it was perceived as sort of like an edgelord thing because of his, like, final boss appearance. Oh, and he had that perfect, that Tumblr aesthetic that he needed, that know. Tumblr spice where he could be an yeah. edge, or he was hard edge at Lord. least perceived that way, kind of. Sands, and, and he's got good music and he goes bleh, bleh, bleh. Classic. You know the sound he makes is Patrick from Spongebob, right? That's not a joke. <laughs> Damn, it is. <laughs> I can show you the exact, uh, huh. I can show you the exact line too, hold on. That's so weird, I had no idea. Uh, it totally is like that okay. same, you can tell. But I guess like I would've even, huh. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Maybe it's from that line. Maybe it's right what from that fuck? word, from the word maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That is so <laughs> weird! Oh my god, I had no idea! It's just... Yeah. Uh, it even makes me... It enables me to do the Sans voice better because it, it makes... Like, I realize that it's... Character actor. Mark. Now I can do Patrick. character more. Interesting. Why, why did he choose that? Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Huh. What a strange sample. The lamp. What a conveniently shaped lamp. I love that. That's such a funny thing to say too. Like, what a conveniently shaped lamp. And that's like, uh, uh, 
such a like hiding behind the lamp. Like that's a cartoon thing. Like Tom and Jerry, like he gets all skinny and hides behind it's, the lamp and his head shaped like that. Specifically, it's like a video game joke because we're the only people seeing this from this perspective. Papyrus should by all rights be able to just see the character. <laughs> that's true. Here. And also it's just a lamp in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Like it's irrelevant. I think there's like a modest mouse song where he talks about having a lamp shit on his head at a party. Mm -hmm. Or he's shaped like a lamp or something. That's a classic bit, the lampshade on the head. What are you even doing? Do you want to look? He even encourages him to look at the lamp. Like, literally look at the lamp. Oh yeah, and Papyrus, it, a lot of this, a lot of the things I'm going to say during this playthrough are probably things I said in chat while you were playing this on your stream, but uh, Papyrus' outfit has a little emblem on it that is a reference to Earthbound. It's the Starman symbol. Oh shit, it is! And he's kind of even shaped like the yeah. Starman. Which uh, is part of fucking Matt Pat's Sans's Nest theory. Oh, he I thinks forgot. that Papyrus is Star a Starman, Man. which is so fucking dumb. That's the the stupidest part of that, in my opinion. It's such a stretch. <laughs> yeah, that is. I mean, that's like what Matt Pat's like known for. Yeah. At least he like. I guess he like has his fun theories. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen people have been like dunking on him recently. I don't know exactly why. Gotten a ton. Why is it yellow? I don't know. Skeleton. A skeleton. Oh, skeleton. Nice, wow. That's, does it ever zoom in like that anywhere else in the game? Yeah, I think like 30 seconds from now and then never again. Okay. And I hate it. Yeah, so what Spongebob line is Papyrus' voice from? I don't know. No idea. It's probably nothing. Down to the bone. Nice. He gives a little shrug too. I like that one. He's like, what can I, what can I say? <laughs> Have you seen that video that's like an hour of silence, everyone's like intermittently interrupted by the intro to Bad to the Bone? <laughs> that's so funny! Da, 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 it's my da, favorite da. one of those. I also like that one because that's like such a weird thing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> bad to the Bone. I think that was like the first of those Billy Bass fish things I heard was Bad to the Bone, mm. so in my mind that's just associated. Also, I think... There might have possibly been uh, when I was doing when I was talking about the Patrick thing. I may have actually distracted us from a cool line of dialogue where Sans says like, "Haven't, haven't we done this before?" or something oh. like that. I'm not sure. Chat, did we miss like a that line? Because I seem to remember that happening when I restarted the game. Kind of down. I can help him. Thanks a million. Okay. Okay, says I'll, I'll be, be up ahead. just up ahead and then leaves backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fit behind the lamp perfectly anymore. Yeah. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. This music is so good, too. The convenience of the lamp. This is the termination. Okay, and then there's the storage that I never really used. Yeah. Tough glove is in there. Tough glove, baby. Is that... It's like an equipment you can wear, I think. Well, how do I do that? We'll put on the glove. Actually, I think it's a weapon, possibly. Equip the tough glove. Well, I got it on. I put the nice. knife away. Oh, no. <laughs> What's this asshole? Snow Drake. Oh. That guy looks like Ian, the kid that I hated in fucking elementary school. What the? Who had <laughs> fucked up teeth. <laughs> Bruh. Listen, he was an asshole. I didn't hate him because he had fucked up teeth. Uh -huh. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> Then good. I've gone off about Ian before. We don't need to open this old wound. Ian. Fucking Ian. Nice. Surprising this pun. Okay, well, he already heard my joke, so I guess I'll laugh at it. Oh, but no. funny. Ah, oh, shit. So uncouth. Oh, I'm sorry, Ian. Oh, here, I'll, I'll hackle you. Or maybe I'll joke again. I don't remember what I need to do. No, he's heard that one. Okay, I'll heckle. He needs to get... The I don't know if heckling is the way. Check. Teen comedian. Yeah, we meet, uh, I think we meet his parents at a certain point. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh man, it's, it's, I have to like, restrain myself from referencing Delta Rune! <laughs> mm. Don't worry, I'm restraining myself from referencing the events of later on in this game. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. I'm also come on, restraining here. myself from ordering Uber Eats. Whenever there's a stream where I'm not playing a game, I'm like, I could be eating right now. What is this? Food. I'm wasting time. Wasting time and money 
Here we go, finally. <laughs> Wasting time and negative money. <laughs> I, there's, yeah, it's there's, true. There's money I could be oh. wasting. A photo of a weird looking monster. Mm, yeah. Call me, here's my number. Decide not to call. Wait. So, I, I think that's either Alphys or Undone. I'm not sure. It's like a fish joke. I don't, I don't even know, actually. Interesting. Here, it's gotta be Alphys. Yeah. I would believe that. Undyne. Oh, he saw me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yeah, I like that. Like, just, huh? Huh? And they look at each other. That's funny. And they do it rapid fire. Brrr, classic. Wee, 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 wee. Funny. Cute. That's, I think, honestly, I think the best way to describe this game is just cute. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so familiar. Yeah, like charming. A rock. It's a rock. Got it. It's me. It's the dude at the Grillbees. Oh, the rod is for the guy in the bar. Okay. Oh, interesting. Grillbees. I never picked up on that. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Wow, I, like, I can't believe he said you shan't pass. That's a. That dates it a little bit. Like, that's <laughs> an old meme. <laughs> Funny to say you shall not pass. You know what game has a lot of like th that I think is hilarious because they just they just were like you know what the memes that are popular this month will never not be popular. Agree. Uh, Guacamole. Oh, I forgot. I have Guacamole. It's a fun fucking game and it's a it's a good game, but there's so many like 2012 ass memes in it. The cringe. It's so funny. It's, That's crazy, actually. It's just genuinely <laughs> hilarious to play as like an anthropological. Dig, you know. That's one that I definitely got in a humble bundle. Oh yeah, great it is. A, it is actually a great game too. They doubled down with Guacamelee Two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I haven't played that one yet, but I do have it. I mean, that's like um, the thing I always think of is fuck, scary movie. Uh, that pink? No. The scary movie is like the worst <laughs> example of that. It's like they're referencing commercials. That yeah, were around the letter media was talking about like that like, oh, it's Apple terrible. or like, iPhone commercial or whatever. It's like impossible to watch. Fuck. Yeah, I imagine it wasn't the best even at the time too. <laughs> no, I, I, I almost kind of liked it as a kid just because I liked shitty jokes when that yeah. came out. But exactly. whoa, what's ah? Uh oh, that's right for A. Okay, please leave me alone so I can heal myself. There we go. That heals me right when I save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it does. Yeah. I, I might be confusing it with off, which does the same thing, but I, I think you're good. Off. Haven't played that one. I like how Donkey. It looks pretty good too, but it's like another RPG maker quirky RPG came out, and it looks pretty good, but it's like there's a lot of these at this point. Mm -hmm. Which one are you talking about? <sighs> I don't. Donkey just did a video on them. I feel like that's always how I like know about it. It's huh. like, oh, Donkey referenced it. But it looked funny, but I was like, I don't know if I can handle another one of these right now. Yeah. I still have I to beat Amari, too. I'm curious which shirt chat was. Franken? Franken, okay. yeah, Franken. And it looks good. It does look good, but it's like, they all have kind of the same vibe. And I guess that's probably yeah. just Under... Or Undertale. Earthbound had that vibe to start. Yeah. But off, I... Uh, off is a good one. Out. It's got, like, kind of its own... One that out of all of those I would recommend a lot because it's got a very unique vibe compared to the other ones. Where it's a lot more, uh, how do I put this? Miserable! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's I've world, heard that. The world is just fucking depressing and off. <laughs> Stupid. Before it says something funny. How do I make it so it's, he says something funny? You gotta wait for him to make a joke, and then, I don't know. Oh, and then he laughs. Maybe I gotta check him and so let him make a joke. Yeah, I don't remember specifically. Okay, check. Make a joke. Better not snow. You, okay. you skipping his dialogue. I actually what if he's making a joke? joke? It smells! Okay, there we go. Thanks. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You're a check. Best. Something Ian would never say. Wow. <laughs> wow, he would only say, You suck. <laughs> There's, There's some, some narration. narration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever saw that. Maybe I did. Royal Guardsman. 
Not yet. <laughs> I like Papyrus. Yes. Absolutely no moving. He's the best guy. I'm not gonna move. You see moving things. Alright, oh, he's gonna fucking murder you. I love his fucking arms. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> he's, he's got like the Suicide King, um... Oh yeah, he does! The knife. The Suicide King knife. That's like, I like that that's referenced in Isaac, and I thought I was really cool, because I remember my, like, grandma told me uh -huh. about Suicide King ages ago. Yeah. And I was like, what? Too suspicious. So. Don't move an inch. Someone said Glue RPG is better than Franken. I'm sorry, I've never heard of Glue, glue RPG. Did they just RPG. make that up? Huh. <laughs> could be real, could be fake, I don't know. Oh god, don't download Glue Library for Gary Newman's game. You pet doggo. Arr. What is it saying? He's saying one, and it's actually backwards. Like the sprite is reversed when it's facing the other way. What does one mean? It's what dogs, it's bark in Japanese. Oh, classic. Basically. Yeah. Cats have something like that too, but meow yeah. or something, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. NYA. Oh, I can spare him. Oh, he looks so gruntled. Yeah, he's a weird looking dude. Something pet this, me. Okay, this is my favorite fucking, one of my favorite jokes in the game is like there's the little bone off the side of the screen there and you can like look at how perfectly the screen is like split so you can only see one half of it. Yeah. And it's like, I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. And then you go over to it. It's tiny. And it turns out that he's been smoking dog Damn, treats. Damn, he's doing because the one's like fucking... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like, it's all burnt. Damn. That movie laughs so hard for us playing this. Damn, he's, he's been so... chuffing back a fat dart. He's been smoking them. That's actually great. That's uh, There's plenty of... I like how it's... I feel like the amount of jokes like that too it's not overdone like it's like okay mm -hmm. there's this area he's funny and then there's the one extra little joke that he's smoking uh -huh. the, smoking him yeah i think this game in the wrong hands this exact like sort of concept and story could have been unbelievably cringe you know yeah and, like it would be self-insistent you know snowden town and ice it's just a surprise yeah yeah, and that's, I think it just does it. Oh, lesser dog. It's just right. Just right. Yeah. So, you did the lesser dog thing on I, you, your stream. You pet it a million times yeah. until its head goes all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think don't somebody if, must have told me, like, keep petting it. Uh huh. I don't know if we have to do that, but if you want to do it, I, you absolutely can. Just for fun, pet him until its head goes all the way around. Yeah. It does take a long ass time, though. Mm. Also, shit, I should have, uh, did you want any food? Fuck. I should have. I stored it Uber Eats, but I realized I should have. Dare you? Thought about my co-commentator. Give me anything. I'm sorry. I got some gyoza. You can have some of that. Yeah, want. I'll be okay. okay. I cooked a million, a giant vat of food. I saw your big thing. Oh, I died. Oh, you touched the doggy. I touched the doggy. Oops. Fuck. Well. Folks, folks, folks. You're going to be all right. Whose voice is that? Mmm. Got any guesses? Asgore? Yeah, it is. Oh, cool. I just was like, deep voice? Uh-huh. That's kind of fun. Okay, well, I did not mean to fucking touch the dog. I actually didn't even think I touched the dog. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. How wrong I, wasn't paying, I was. I wasn't paying the closest of uh, attention. Ignore. Wow. Bitch. Wow. Wow, fuck. <laughs> Blackbird, Blackbird. You done? No, you can ignore you one more time. Like he's got like a little drill for a nose too. I'm sure it's supposed to be like a little carrot, but it is rotating though. Yeah. I, I mean, this is. Remember that one assist trophy in Brawl that was like a little thing that went like with a drill. Yeah, I do. Drill dozer. Drill dozer. That's some classic shit. Where it's yeah, like, oh, uh, at some point I will play a little bit of drill dozer. Maybe. Okay. I've heard it's fine. And for a second I was like, what do you mean play it? It's a assist trophy in Brawl, and I was like. <laughs> It's from crazy. Brawl! This is Trophies. <clears throat> that was my first, I think, my first experience with Earthbound is one, the Earthbound uh, level in Brawl, mm, and yeah. then two, you can like play it a little in the Brawl classic games, I think. Can you not? Can you? I don't remember if Earthbound was in there. I, I don't think it was, but it might have been. And also, I think the stage in Subspace Emissary is... Uh, 
But a three. Because I don't know that shit. Hey, we gotta play Subspace Emissary one day. Yes, we do. Uh, I, I think maybe it could be even like co op open quote speed run. Just blast through and it. Just destroy it. Yeah, I don't know if we would destroy it. I wanna see all those cutscenes again. Like, I, those are awesome. Yeah, those were the best part of it. It was kind of like the fucking. <laughs> What the fuck that it was kind of like the Valve Meet the Team videos, where you just see a bunch of video game characters interacting, and you're like, Bonkers! That's cool! Yeah. Oops, that was my wow. phone falling out, sorry. Wow. So rude. I cannot move. Take a piece of me. Thank you. Mm. Snowman piece. I don't know if I must have had that before. I don't know, it's been a while. It's a snowman uh, that appears in Earthbound that I almost wonder if that's a reference to. Bit of a stretch. Bit of, I mean... Wouldn't be surprised. It's just a pixel art snowman. Oh, I know, you know? Okay. Classic dialogue. This is like the part of the game that feels the slowest when you're replaying it too, just because they've got all the sands and papyrus like banter. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I've read it. Yeah. I remember. I think in the demo of the game, there was even a bit where like, there's like some dialogue after the demo that you can see, and like Sans and Papyrus show up for a little bit of it, and they're like, the people don't even know about us yet, we're not even in the game! Or we're not even in this demo. Don't jump the gun. That's funny. That's weird, it's like, weird because it's like, that's funny in the context of the demo, but also in the context of like Sans and Papyrus yeah. and like the actual game, so. Uh -huh. Fun, the demo. You slippery snail. What is the game's weird obsessions with snails, too? Lots of snail yeah. references. I literally like just went, whew! Oh, souped away. Wow. I have to talk to other fool. Hey, hot dog guy. No, he's the nice cream vendor. The nice cream vendor. Uh, the, there's a mini game later on called Thunder Snail, which I think is supposed to be because it sounds like Undertale. Oh, I, yeah. You know? Oh, this snail. This thing always bugged me. How it like the pixels rotate. Yeah, it's just like totally <laughs> it looks different so than bad. everything else. <laughs> this mini game also has some really weird shit to it, where you can learn. It's like if you do this mini game in different amounts of time, it gives you a different score, and it's like each score, uh, relates to one of the other kids that went into the underground before you. Oh, what? And like so. Yeah, it's very strange. It like tells you a little bit about like their qualities and stuff. Fuck. Yeah, it's kind of annoying doing this too. That's weird. It's that's very so weird. It's very, very strange. It's like depending on how long you take to get the thing into the hole, it like gives you a rating and it says like a quality. Cause it's like the main character is associated with like the red heart and they've got like determination is their yeah. thing. But then there's like other colors are related. See here's blue. Hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. So that is describing one of the previous kids that went through the underground. Oh, that's so weird. And they have some other quality to their personality besides determination that, like, defines them. Huh, how... I have no yeah. idea. I didn't know there was, like, much lore about the other kids who went yeah. through. Yeah, and the items that you find, like, the tough glove and, like, there's, like, the, ball the ballet shoes and shit like that. Oh, uh, wow. That you find throughout the game, those are all from the previous kids. Who died? <laughs> wow, so dang, it's a little sad. dark. Yeah. Huh? No, that's so weird. What a specific thing. Yeah. To, I, don't know, I never in a million years would have guessed that was what yeah. that meant. So if I do it again, now I got that pink. Was purple or whatever. Purple. Mm. Achieve the end of this. That ball. ball is the name of this mini game, I guess. Now you felt trapped. So that's probably like the there's one that's like associated with like math and like a calculator or something. I think the previous one someone said that was the ballerina. That makes perfect sense because they said like tapping and twirling. Or yeah, whatever. of course. Snow decahedron. Snow decahedron. Fuck you. And there's another camera there. I don't know if I ran it. Yeah. Out there. Oh wait, hold on. I'm not gonna go to you guys. Yeah, go up there. I'm gonna go up here first. What's up here? Oh, another sands. I've been thinking. Want some fried snow? Fried sure. Fried snow. Fuck you. 50. Sure. Really? How about sure? Sure. <laughs> you don't have any money? Wow, he doesn't have any snow. Fuck you, Sands. It's literally everywhere. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. <laughs> Cumin's green rating. Destroy at all costs. Bruh. Fucking weird. Yeah. His it and hers. hers. Cute. I'm hers and I'm he's. 
is it like shirts that have like an arrow pointing? It's like this, it's that weird picture of, like, you know, like, damn bitch, you live like this. Yeah. And it's like Max and Roxanne. <laughs> the original picture, it says, I'm hers and I'm he's. <laughs> and it's like them like looking at each other, I think, or it's another weird variation of that. Weird. Hope you're ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna look at that note. Where's the puzzle? Oh, it's the Sudoku puzzle. No, it's Junior oh, yeah. Jumble or Word Search. I see. The, this one had the the funniest part of this is that the first line is like you know gas <laughs> and then one of the words is gas <laughs> but it's actually not right. There's an e where a u should. There's oh, a u up there, and then there's an e in the word down there. What? The so gas <laughs> actually doesn't appear in this word search. That's so weird. It lied to me. And then also, look at this. Fall, winter, spring, summer. Monsters, oh. skeletons, mermaid, robot. Oh, and we fight. Those make you think of anything? We definitely fight robot and yeah. monster and skeletons and a mermaid? Yeah, that's Undyne. Oh, she's Undyne. She's a fish she's person. Like a fish person, yeah. Cigars. Sig? Yeah, I don't know what cigars and sig That's are so, like, fuck, like, hey, kids. <laughs> Cigarettes. <laughs> I found all the words. Wow. Crossword. Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. Wow, people are spoiling for me that Jazz Full Swift Rapper appears in Deltarune. How fucking dare you? I don't know if I remember <laughs> where that appears in Deltarune. I know some other stuff. Uh, the Jumble, obviously. I know that a uh, bunch of people were adding me saying that there was like a super punch out sample on one of the bosses in Deltarune. Uh, like Heike Kagero's laugh. And then I looked at it and I was like, I don't think that's actually a sample, but I could be. Could be wrong. I won't say anything. Yeah, okay. Solve the horoscope. Poor Papyrus. He's obviously a Pisces. Wait at the spaghetti. You gotta freaking microwave the spaghetti. It's rock solid, frozen to the plate. Like a spaghetti. <laughs> it needs to be microwaved. Unplugged. All the settings say spaghetti. I'm always curious about how. Please enjoy the spaghetti. <laughs> He wrote that all down. <laughs> You're progressing. Jake again. Jake again. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Beep. 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 I read that, and then I was like, wait, what the fuck did that say? And I checked it again, and checked the sign again. Oh, fuck. Oh god, it's Jerry. Jerry! Oh shit, Jerry! What a piece of shit, we all hate Jerry. So, what do you think his eyes are? The things on the sides of him? Or the, the like, is that his nostrils? Oh, the things on the sides of him. Yeah, they got it. They got they're it. moving, I think that's his... It was a stupid question. Yeah, how dumbass. It was a dumb question. He sees that covering his nose. Why are we Why are doing, we doing this? this? What a fail. What a fail. That's <laughs> funny. See, that holds up because that yeah. was probably already sort of outdated. Yeah. It totally was. What or like fail. it was on purpose. He eats powdery food <laughs> and then licks its hand loudly. What the fuck? <laughs> they ditch me some friends. Oh, and then he's just... Oh, it's I like can't. everything in this universe is deserving of love. Except Jerry, <laughs> you know, it's like even you like forgive Flowey and shit, but Jerry fuck that guy. Not Jerry Yes, you read that correctly. That's funny. That was one of those things where I Like fell like when I first played this I just fell hook line and sinker for that shit And I, I was like my jaw dropped open. Yeah, they just when it said totally yes, made. you read that correctly I was like I literally did a double take though like <laughs> actually Hmm <laughs> okay. So much of this game does have like like this little sprite of the map on the ground is so shitty looking. It, yeah, like it, it looks it does jank. Add to the charm. Okay, there's an X there in between those two things. Mm. I wonder what that means. I hope there's not a dog marriage. So these rocks. I, these are also like the rocks. It's like man, I gotta spam on every tree and rock just in case. Mm -hmm. There is a, there is a later again. part where there's a bunch of unique dialogue for a bunch of different identical uh, blops of snow on the ground. Oh, seriously? Damn. Oh, yeah, they really do the, get it. The snow path room. The other monsters celebrate Jerry's disappearance. That's I think it was so trying to say sad. That. I skipped it. <laughs> Damn, everybody hates Jerry. He has like one big ass arm too. <laughs> Weird enemy design. 
<laughs> yeah, he's got one big arm like a uh, Mike Stokloss's character in Smiling Friends. Oh yeah. Where one of his arms is this tiny shitty little thing. And it's like 90% of the episode, he's, it's just the same exact drawing of that guy, but then one time they show him from a different angle, and his arm's just still shitty. It was beautiful. <laughs> also, the return of Jerry. I don't think I ever saw that. Mm -hmm. He just showed up again. Oh, I like... I, that's so funny that he was just casually in that show. Yeah. Like, how'd he get that? How'd he do yeah, that? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go save again to heal. On the Good microwave. Idea. Straight up mouse scribbles, yeah. But guess what? It's better than fucking Destiny 2. Despite all the work that was put into Destiny 2. What about Destiny 2? What's better than Destiny 2? I don't know, like this game with its ramshackle oh. shit graphics <laughs> is better than Destiny Goddamn 2. Also, look at their shirts. They've got a little like white blob on there. Yeah. And it almost looks like their hand or something. It's, uh, this is something we're not gonna be. At oh. That little jazz. On, that song's on the soundtrack, by the way. See that I respect. That's Dog kind makes. of a song. Yeah. Uh, it's there. It's each other's heads, basically, and they're like blocking them with their axes. But if you're doing genocide mode and you kill one of them, you see that they had their like significant other's face on their shirt, like a cute little like sweater thing. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. That's funny. That's sad. Yeah. Like a weird. It's funny, puppy. sad, and cute. Dog marriage, and the one has a little mustache. And a pompadour. You ever gonna do oh. Destiny 2 PvP? Nope. Not not uh, not as far as I know. Nope. Also, the Destiny 2 PvP is bad. Oh, is it? Uh, not as good as the PvE. Hmm. Well, I was gonna say something about dog marriage, but I don't remember. Puppy. You're doing good. You're doing perfect. Mm. Fuck. Mm. Fuck. Mm. Fuck. Mm. They're giving each other love. What was it on their shirts? Oh, I remember. I saw, um, that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I went, I went to this like zoo thing once and there were these people there and it was like practically a joke. They were like, I'm with her. Like they literally had shirts like, I'm in love with this person. They're like pointing to each other. They were holding hands. They both had identical outfits. Yeah. And like, they were both holding like identical like plushes. I was like, you guys cannot be real right now. <laughs> All right, we're in love. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah! Oh, it made a little they heart. They made a little heart. Okay, so now it's I like can they're constantly them. fucking smooching during the battle. Oh, you can oh, see you their can barely see little shirts. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it's just to make you like feel bad for when you kill one of them. A world has opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Aww. Dang, I really like let them know that. Dogs can pet other dogs. What the fuck is this? A little closer. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Turn every. I remember one of these took quite a while on your original. Yeah. It's kid. Let's there's, see. There's no shame in that. Will it be easier this time? I ate it. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking. Of course, I'm gonna bait you, Papyrus. You're my best friend. Oh, now I have to push the button. Really coming down outside. Yeah, it's been. Raining. It's been very warm and wet recently. We're almost to summer. Yeah. I haven't seen the bunnies out in the backyard as much recently. The baby bunnies have been absent for quite a while. I hope they're okay. They fucking die! No! Maybe they all they found their own homes. The bunny house. They started they their own families. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I think they go pretty fast. Yeah, they do. Uh, the, the fucking, like, the oldest of the baby bunnies seeing how much it grew just by eating some fucking grass. Yeah, damn, I wish I could grow by eating grass. <laughs> I wish human digestion could process grass. Oh god, here we go again. Yeah, this is the one. I like how it just kind of slides into place. Yeah, oh, you fucking nailed it instantly. Easy! Oh, oh, well, nice. I did it instantly. Okay, that one took me forever last time. Yeah. You must care about puzzles. I love your puzzles, Papyrus. <laughs> You're my best buddy. He's so caught up in all the RPG bullshit. He's obsessed with puzzles. It's impossible for you to have seen this before. Mm. I wonder if that's unique or if he always says that. Yeah. Now it, now it clicks. Huh. 
Oh okay. yeah, look at that little computer console next to Pirates. Oh, <gasps> it's the robot! Pirates. It's like the same as that robot. That's an interesting, that whole robot kind of lore is interesting. And later on, that robot throws this exact same puzzle at you. Interesting. If you'll recall. Ah, uh, yeah. Yellow tiles. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna skip all this freaking dialogue. Yeah. I'm skipping it fast. Did, did you see that fucking, like, NFT thing that I retweeted? This was, like, months ago. But there was some NFT that was, like, just colored squares. It was, like, a 16 by 16. It looked exactly like this. Oh, basically. I don't know if I remember that. And somebody tweeted it, like, it was, like, the NFT, like, sales Twitter. And somebody retweeted it with, like, each tile has a different function. Orange tiles will make you smell like orange, <laughs> etc. That's cute. Fucking, uh, when I, I, I don't, I think it was an ad on Instagram or something, but when I, did you see that, like, Air Bud NFT shit I yeah. posted? I was literally like, what? <laughs> like, literally like, what the fuck do you mean? And I literally looked it up, because I was like, that's not a fucking dog. <laughs> and I looked it up, and it's like, it's Vila. It's the new original character. The alien, she has magic. And I was like, what the f And it was like, in the Air Bud superheroes is the thing that she was from. I was like, what the fuck? But the funny thing was, the people saw that, the people who made those NFTs and commented on it, my, my tweet of it. And they're like, looks like there's a lot of Vila fans here. Don't forget to look at it here. And I was like, Fuck you, we are not yeah. fans, we're making fun of you. Yeah. But another guy, and I didn't realize, cause somebody was like, yeah, Vila! And I was like, oh, funny, and somebody thinking a joke. Then I looked and I was like, oh no, that's the person who made Vila. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Started cooking, improving a lot. Nice. Wow. It's like the joke there being that spaghetti is the easiest thing to make. And I know this because it's the only food I ever prepare. <laughs> Also, doesn't this area... I think if you, like, come back to this area, it has more NPCs and, like, a bunch of snow art or something. Oh, really? That's kind of cute. Uh, I don't know if I've been back. Like Pommy raisins. Ah, beware of dog. <laughs> Please pet dog. Please pet dog. Please pet him. Oh, right, there's this fucking little, like, has-been hotel motherfucker. Yeah, I remember this person. An artist doesn't even know what to create. Bring the size of a piece of kibble. I don't remember you. Oh, there's more art if you pet the dog more, I see. So you probably already saw it before. Oh, like it, the, in your previous the basic? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, this time I didn't pet the dog because... Uh, because you died to it once and said fuck that. Uh, yeah, I literally died and said fuck it. Oh, wow. Oh! Ah! Oh, sands. It's a so <laughs> snow sands. <laughs> Oh, and written on it in red markers. I thought that's it was so written funny. ketchup, because he has, like, that's his thing. And, like, both would just check out. Like, you're like, mm -hmm. of course he would write his name in ketchup or red marker, because life doesn't work on snow. That's yeah. funny. Ah, charming. This little part here, there's a part where you, like, slide through the trees and you come out with, like, a little weird snow thing on your head. And, uh, it's a random thing each time you do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Like this part here. Mm -hmm. So here we go. What, what am I gonna get? Drum roll, please. A house. A house. <laughs> I got a snow house. Wait, so can I go through again and get something else? You might fall to your death. Nope. Just a lump. I'm gonna go back again. Oh, there was one when you went out. Nice. It's a hat! A hat! Oh my god, hats are so powerful. Uh, oh, here's the snow paw room. A snow paw. And like, if you check all of them, the last one contains money, I think. It's a snow paw. It's a snow paw. Snow paw. Oh, that one's not a snow paw. It's a doggy! Oh shit, it's a puppy. I was gonna go check it. Hello, Earth, Earth! That's like Temmy ass things, right? The doggy? I guess Toby Fox. I mean, no, it's Toby Fox's thing. Yeah, Toby Fox, his avatar is the little dog. Little and OG. To anybody, oh god, this music. And I love that his spear and like his gauntlet have dog faces. Oh yeah, I didn't even too. see his gauntlet has one. I, like, what the fuck? Uh, oh fuck. If you go to uh, Steam, in fact, next time you get a moment to pause, I forget exactly how you do this. Right here. Go to Steam. All right, click on Undertale. Uh huh. Right click on Adjust Logo Position. Right click on the logo and do Adjust what Logo Position. What? And then there's a secret boy who winks at you behind the Undertale logo in the Steam page. What? <laughs> Set Logo Position? Is that something you could do with like any game? Yeah. 
Yeah, you can do that with any game. And Toby Fox knew that feature was there and decided to he hide an Easter egg behind the, the logo dude. Of the is game. just a genius. <laughs> like he's on a whole nother level, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, shit's fuck. crazy. I thought that said bruh for bruh, a second. Bruh, bruh. The dog's bruh, saying bruh. bruh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, I didn't eat food at all today, and it's like 4 p.m., or it's like 3.30, so I was like, I need teriyaki, so I'm gonna go get my food. Get your teriyaki. I'm sorry. Get your teriyaki. I'm not gonna be able to hear the lovely dog music. Well, that's meme to high heaven, I heard that song so many times. Have you heard the, like, you never picked up your phone since it dropped? Nope, I threw it on the ground and left it there. It was a great, like, Rick Astley... Like, never gonna give you up, but done with all the Undertale dog sound. Wow. He left. And some TLC. What does that stand for? Tender love and care. What do I, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with this dog. Still haven't pet enough. My movement's actually, oh, my movements are actually slower. 40%. 100%. Look at this little mouth opening up. How cute. Contented. Okay, bye. Bye, big doggie. Oh, it was just a little dog in a suit of armor. Oh, no, it's your butt. Oh, no, that's all wrong. Okay, which is the one that I... Didn't, I didn't check. Oh, that was the last one. 30 gold inside. Wait, hold on. What was down here? Did I miss something? I didn't have to run. Oh! That's so spooky. Here's my piss sound effect. You frying chicken in there? Googly eyes. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. What the fuck does that mean? What are these? Is he spitting? It's got Flowey's mouth in the end. Doesn't Flowey have a mouth like that? Like a weird, like, down pointed thing? Can't improve on perfection. Oh, I see. Kids. Kids decorated it and I fucked it up. Undecorate. I have to remove stuff. I don't know if I've ever put googly eyes on that guy. E e Fuck. The barbed wire. Ah, shit! Shit, I'm gonna have to fight that stupid dog again, too. Stay determined, I'm trying. How much farther back am I? Oh god. Oh no. Reset. I think I have to throw myself off. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can do it again. I seem to recall the last time I did this, there was I also died randomly and had to restart chunks. Not to that stupid deer. Pacifist or cooler pacifist? Full pacifist. Oh, okay, that wasn't far. Oh, wait. He wasn't down here before. What the f I didn't see this before. Are you following me? No, Sans, I swear. Please. Undecorate. Oh, the decorations are different now. This time it doesn't have the little stocking. It has a, a candy corn. A candy cane. Fuck. I've played a Mario on stream. Is he undecorated? No, one last piece. Any cane to walk. Wow, so I wouldn't have even seen that if I hadn't gotten, if I hadn't redone and seen that cane. Whose house is that? Is this something special? I feel like this is something special. There's something in here. 
A door. Oh, I don't know if I figured this out before. It's a door. Huh. I don't know if I... It's like the same pattern of doors in the ruins. Mm. I don't know if I did this before. So this... It's not something you're gonna be able to do right now. I have to come back for it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. This is a, uh, here, yeah, just stay up in there. This is like an optional boss. It actually has nothing to do with the little switches around here. It's just, I don't even remember exactly what's up with it, honestly, but th there's a secret boss behind here that was a Kickstarter backer boss. I definitely didn't do this. And, uh, yeah, I I seem to remember, chat's saying just walk around in this room, but I seem to remember you can't do it till you come back later on. Huh. Uh, like, doing something later on. So I'll just keep walking around for a little bit. I yeah, guess. I mean, chat would never freak out about something they're completely wrong about, so. Huh. Hold on, I need to, they fucking didn't give me my bubble tea. Oh, that's sad. Dude fucking pounded it in the car. Right, You, if you dodge all the credits, you get in the door. That's dodge the all the credits. So yeah, I gotta wait for the game to be over? Yeah, like the Kickstarter backer. There's there's a part where it shoots all the Kickstarter backer names at you. Oh, okay. Huh, weird. You gotta dodge all the credits. Huh, no, I, I, I'm sure I like went to this door and then uh, didn't figure out what it was. Huh, okay. And then, what's whose house is this? That's just a random little thing. Uh, if you wait here for long enough, there's a little animation. Hold on, I'm sorry, guys. A little animation. Hello, house. Oh. There's a little dude. What the f- <laughs> He's just walking around. Oh, you have to wait outside the door for four minutes? Should we wait outside the door for four minutes? Y yeah, go for it, I guess. I'm gonna Google it. We have four minutes to spare. That's a long time. Yeah, hold on. It's just a little guy. There's just a little guy. I will say, uh, regardless of how you actually activate this guy, I know this. what's happening in chat right now is the reason I'm not going to stream playing Deltarune. Uh, calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. I know you love Undertale so much. And you're so eager to share it with us. But, uh, holy shit, calm the fuck down. Yeah, move. You have to move for at least two minutes, it move says. Move for two minutes. So I have to, like, constantly be pushing buttons for yeah. two minutes? Yeah. This encounter must happen before the fight with Papyrus if the protagonist did not kill any fleeable, mon fleeable monster in Snowden or Glide does not appear. Otherwise, if at least one monster was killed, the encounter must happen before the date with Papyrus. Well, how is that otherwise? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of getting it conflated with the door in the room. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here for two minutes. But I have to keep moving, and honestly, it might be easier to move around like a normal person. Exact, well, no, I think this is the way. It, I think it's giving you the exact same amount of, like, movement per tick. Whoa. Alright, now I'm gonna be eating my fucking pot stickers on stream like an asshole. I hope you're ready for some chewing! Pot stickers! Do you want any? Yeah, give me one pot sticker, but then I have to stop moving. Oh my god. I don't know if you have to move for a solid two minutes without stopping. It might just be a cumulative amount, I'm not sure. Have you played Hyper Light Drifter? Uh, no. It's a good game, but there's a part where literally, uh... You have to, like, sit there or something? Uh, no, it's like, you can, like, do this chain dash thing if you time it right, and there's a room where it's like, if you do it 800 times in a row... <laughs> You, you can, like, get a thing. I just want one pot stick. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Mmm. Munch, munch, mm. munch. Oh, oh, ah. Someone said feed him like a baby bird. Ew. I'm gonna pass on that one. Yeah, so this secret boss is kind of neat. It's it's kind of whatever, because it's just like a random backer creation. Hmm. But it's not so shameful that, uh... It's not so shameful that Toby Fox hid it behind a thing that can only be, a door that can only be opened one day out of the year for one hour. 
Oh, <laughs> you remember that one? Yeah, because you were like, today's the only day you can do this, like in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lark streamed Undertale on the So Sorry Day. Huh. It was pretty amazing. He didn't fight So Sorry, though. Why is it, why is it only, oh. Mm. Is nice. this it? Yep, this is it. Oh. Glide. Glide swooped in. It does look different. Yeah. Huh. Glide. No, a pod. Boo. It's also pretty hard in character. I would not be surprised if you died. I just died. Got really sloppily. <laughs> like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it's like really, uh, it's got like a good sense of pride, I guess. I don't know. It's got a vague character. Ah, what the? <laughs> Bullet hell. Plot it again. Like a gorilla. Addicted to your praise. What else do you have to say? Interesting. When you were like, it's a it's a custom character, I just always think of that Doctor Who miserable the floor monster, tile. the floor tile. I was <laughs> like, oh god, it's a floor tile again. I didn't know, so I guess I didn't know that this was like a kickstarted game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, Muffet, the spider lady. Nicey, sweet, sweet, sick. How am I supposed to, Ouch. okay, well, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, but wow, okay, that was cool. I. Yeah, a little secret thing. Huh. And so I can go, I can go through the door after the game's over. Yes, but I, it's, you have to do some insane dodging. It's pretty, I doubt that you will be able to do it. Oh God. I'm not trying to shit on your abilities. Just, Is it another boss behind the door? Uh, no, I don't think it is. I could, I've never actually done it, so I don't know. I think it's just a little room with some like dialogue and I think maybe the Toby Fox dog. Huh, okay. Uh, but yeah, you have to do some fucking nutty bullet hell dodges to get it. Weird. And then I think, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but the Switch version of this game has an extra boss fight with like Hello Kitty Cutie or whatever, or Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, the anime oh, that yeah. Elphys watches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think it's like in that area or something. And that's the Switch port only? Yeah, I've never played that version, so I don't, I've never fought them. Huh, that's kind of fun. I didn't know there was like custom Mad stuff. Mad Mew Mew. <laughs> Mad Mew Mew, hello can, Gizzy Cutie. By the way, help yourself if you want one. Okay, I'm actually eating another one. As soon as I ate that one, I was like, I'm hungry. I'll eat Go one more. It. I've got, I've got my chicken fried rice here, so you can have a few. A little steel. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Yeah, I died. I died to the reindeer, so I have to mm. do this again. Ouch. Christmas deer. The Christmas deer. But the thing I noticed about the Christmas deer is it had like the the mm. mouth that Flowey gets, like that weird like mm. yeah. mouth that comes down. Yeah. It's behind Papyrus's fridge, okay. It's not behind that door. Kitty Mew Mew is? Yeah. Behind his fridge, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay. It's funny, but I think that was like one of the only things that was added to the Switch version too. There were not really many other changes. I guess that kind of makes sense. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. This is the same theme that plays in the Temi Shop too. That's right, the Temi Shop. I think I almost like missed the Temi Shop on my playthrough. Mm -hmm. Somebody would be like, hey, the Temi Shop, the Temi Shop. Very missable. And that's that's the character. Her name's Temi, right? Whoever like, mm -hmm. made that stuff. Yep, Temi Chang. Kenny Chang, that's fun. Yeah, it's interesting. The we'll see we'll see a credit sequence in this game. Oh, nice. Where it uh, it credits like each individual character's creation. So some of the characters were made by Temi Chang, and some of them were made by Toby Fox. It's cool. I don't know exactly what that means. Like, is it just their design, their character? Or can what? you tell which one is which? Sort of. Like, can, do they have a distinct style? Uh, I, for me, it's hard to tell. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm sure it's distinguishable. I feel like I, in Delta Rune, there's a couple characters that I was like, those are obviously somebody else. Yeah. I saw the guy with like a radio, like a boombox. Yeah, the boombox guy. And I was like, that doesn't look like an Undertale character. No, but he looks cool. Yeah, those characters are fun too. I love the dog just swinging. It reminds me of like Hercules. Like, didn't he go through like a trap that was like something like this? Yeah. It was a little more menacing than this. Yeah. Cannon of fire, two spears, a mace, and a puppy. Mm -hmm. And he was just like gently swinging back and forth. Yeah. He's just so happy. It's like SpongeBob at the end of the SpongeBob movie. Oh, yeah. Like that. And I know you know that SpongeBob reference because you made the fucking Kanye meme. Yep. I know every SpongeBob reference. Except for the one where his voice is used, Patrick's voice is used in Undertale. Yeah. And I'm just grinding through the dialogue because I don't care. Yeah. 
Yeah, every once in a while you catch a little glimpse of like, by the way, you will die in your sleep tonight. And you're like, oh, wait. I understand blue attacks. Okay, yes, I understand blue attacks. I should have got it out for this stream. At somewhere on my computer, there is a plugin that I have that makes it so whenever you type on a keyboard, it makes the sans sound effect. So you can like have his voice. It's beautiful. That is funny. Mm. This sprite looks so... I guess that's all the shopkeepers kind of look different. Yeah. I don't know if I really even remember this person. This music is great. And I think when you... I think several areas in this game, they randomly... Uh, depending on your fun value, I think. Yes. They pitch the music up and down. Just ever so slightly? Ever so slightly, so it just sounds different. So, sometimes when we go into a shop... I think this is basically how it is on the soundtrack. But sometimes when you when I go into a shop, I'm like, why does it sound different than it does on the OST? What? Oh, it's pitched differently. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Oh wait, yes. oh, I have to sleep. This is the fucking. Bed. I have to sleep. I was like, wait a second, I do need to stay. This is the most important part of the game. Oh wait. Oh. What the fuck? I don't. Huh? I've never seen this. This is a false memory. I thought this was the bed. What? Maybe it's fun. My fun value is something different, so I get a different one. What the fuck? Huh. Chat, what the fuck was that? Weird. Are we, like, getting it confused with a different... That's another hotel? Uh... It's a different hotel. You're thinking of another hotel. Okay. Oh, here's your money back. I don't know if i ever stayed at this one. Huh, I don't know if I have either. Okay, well, I got... I've she gave me my money back. i snoring guys. Weird. What's maximum HP? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Huh, well, that was kind of fun. Oh, I forgot that you could teleport around. Mm-hmm. Lots of OCs in here. One of the things I was kind of thinking was kind of shitty about Skullgirls is there's a lot of characters in the story that are like, Hey everybody, I'm the artist's OC, number 6000. Don't you, aren't you ready to hear about my story? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but in this game, all the random like NPCs are, are, are very lovable. Yeah, they're all pretty interesting. And they don't have a lot to say either. That's like, mm -hmm. the thing is like, they have their one line. You're like, cute. Yeah. Cough, cough. A waste of time. Look at me now. Oh, she word search made creator. Wow. ICE word search. Wouldn't you know it? I don't. I don't know if I ever noticed that. Alphys. Aphys. They were snoring the game over theme. Really? Oh, weird. Like that one. Weird. Didn't notice. Mustache rock. I ought to be young again. <laughs> wow. I love this guy. Oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <laughs> That's funny. I cute. that a lot. My patience rewards me. Oh yeah, and here's the hunky ice dog. He's just throwing the ice in the water. Why not just make the, a bigger conveyor belt? Because then where is, what would the hunky ice dog do for work, you fool? That's a great question. Ring, ring. Hello. Can I speak oh, to Oh shit. G. Fun value time. Wait a second, mm. is this the wrong number? <gasps> wrong number song! Oh, damn! We did it! I got this on my playthrough too. This is actually a pretty low chance to happen. <laughs> I'm vibing. Fun. I don't know too much about the wrong, the, the fun values. I only know, we, we briefly talked about it the other day. I was mm -hmm. like, I know that the fun value exists and like that determines some like random things that can happen. That's basically it. That's the long, the long and short of it. But you can encounter these weird things and there they said, can I talk to G? And you're familiar with the Gaster. Thing. JD Gaster, whatever his name is. Yeah, WD Gaster. WD Gaster. Wingdings, by Wing the way. Wingding Gaster. There's really not much information on that character in this game. I, I don't know if it's elaborated on in Deltarune at all, but. Uh, no. Yeah, or not, at least it, to your knowledge. I'm sure. Not to my knowledge. I'm sure chat will be like, blah, 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 about that. There is um one thing that's. You can hear. People are literally like, but you don't know what that is. And I was just like, it's the gaster sound from the first game. And they're like, you know that? And I was like, I don't know. I just sort of made the connection, I guess. Because yeah. he makes like a noise. So, uh, there's a 19 in 50 chance to get a, the wrong number call. Huh. Not too crazy, but. So, ga everything with ga I know, I know, I kind of know gaster, like there's stuff that you can't actually get no fun value. Like yeah. there's just a part that you have there's, to like edit in or whatever. There's like rooms that you can only get to by hacking. And there's actually, oh man, in the files of this game, 
there was originally in like the unpatched version of the game there was a sound file and like a text file that said something like you know please don't dump the resources of this game give it at least a year uh don't spoil it for everyone otherwise it, and they say something like otherwise it'll all be your fault or something like that whoa and uh then of course people did dump the resources and the textures and sprites and shit and found a bunch of stuff in there and then that file was taken away and changed to just like laughing or something like that. Oh, like, like somebody did it. So yeah, we had to change it. Somebody then. did it. So we you fucked it up for everyone. It's all your fault. Mm -hmm. Dang. And I, so there's somebody who actually, it was all their fault. Yeah, legit. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> also, Papyrus just hit us with a, I feel like we're old friends classic. Mm. Can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? <laughs> Many social media connections. This might also be replay stuff. That's what I think. I think that's what this is. It's a replay one. Yeah. There's a dozen more. I'll finally reach double digits. I'll finally reach double digits. My right, friend or human. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. I'll do your flirt. Okay. I see it is the Starman symbol. Yeah. Yeah. And he's kind of got a similar sort of body shape, except he's a lot sassier. He is very sassy. He's got that, like, the sassy hand. Let's date later. Wow, this is fucking lame as shit. He's got some he's good attacks. Flirt. Oh no. I like the joke of this fight. Where he's like hyping it up and he's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna show you my blue attack. And it turns out the blue attack is actually something different that is actually kind of difficult. Yeah, because really I'm just classic nothing. Oh, good, good for you, Papyrus. You gotta like talk him up a little. You gotta go on the date with Papyrus. But a lot of people say it sort of seems as though Gaster is related to Sans and Papyrus. A lot of people are like, oh, it's like their uncle or their dad or grandpa or something, you know. Uh, and there's also in the original, like, beta version or, like, the demo version of the game, there's a sound file that's called, like, Grandpa Semi. Grandpa Semi? Which I think it was supposed to be, like, Grandpa, like, Semi Sans Serif or whatever, like, another font type name. Oh, I see. That makes sense. So people, some people are like, oh, that was, like, an early version of Gaster or something like that. Hmm. But the, the actual sound file for Grandpa Semi plays, like, Metaton's theme or something. It's, like, an early version of Metaton's theme. It's really weird. Huh, that is weird. But there's, uh, to my knowledge, and again, I haven't played Deltarune, not much info about uh, Gaster that's, like, set in stone. There's just a bunch of, like, sort of mysterious stuff, and there's, like, these sort of creepy-looking NPCs that are, like, the followers of Gaster, but, like, there's not much known about it. Oh, yeah, they, and they look a certain way only, they also have, like, a fun value, mm -hmm. right? Oops, I didn't Oh, shit! That. You're blue now! That's my attack. <laughs> And then the music gets like banger too in that moment. I like, and I like how your little heart is now blue. Mm -hmm. I should wear. People were saying that the uh, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie or whatever uh, fight, it like splits your heart in half and one corresponds to each Joy-Con, I guess. So, Whoa. Sounds cool. That is kind of fun. It's just you wanted to put a little like custom thing in. Yeah. For the Switch. To entice the Switch owners. <clears throat> Use my special attack. Yeah. Oh, I have above maximum HP. Oh. I slept in the bed. Ah, uh, you overhealed. Nice. I overhealed. Whoa. Oh, I forgot about that one. The little bone. Fire instead of the something. Damn. We got 400 viewers for Undertale. Everybody loves Undertale. Everybody fucking loves Undertale. They love Undertale. Spaghettori. Spaghettoir. Spaghettoir. Sounds like a slur. Uh, woo, ah! Oh, uh oh. It's a stereotype. It's offensive. It smells like bones. I'm gonna eat something. Uh, is there anything that I shouldn't eat? Like, can I eat the pie? Uh, I would say keep the butts pie. Eat the candy. I don't know. The monster candy also might be good. Do you have anything else? Stick. Wow. And spider donut. I think the monster candy is maybe fine to eat. Okay. I messed up. Monster candy. Okay, I'll just stop getting hit, obviously. But actually, there are a couple of, like, both of those other items have a function later on. Yeah, the, the donut is so I can beat the, this muffin fight. But the butt pie, I don't know about the butt pie. But, uh, why is it, oh, butterscotch. Yeah. I, I was like, why is it called it's butt butterscotch pie? It's butterscotch cinnamon pie, butt's pie. Butt's pie.
I think that's that abbreviation is definitely like a joke. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't even know what stick was. I also had stick. It might be a weapon. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. Oh god. A, a lot of these fights, like when I'm just casually playing through this game, I've only played through it like maybe two or three times, but. Uh, it always feels like they're just difficult enough on a replay through where, like, you get right to the end with low health and then yeah. scrape through. And not to jinx it. I'm just gonna, whatever. If it doesn't work, then I do it again and I'll be better yeah. the next time. I also remember dying to most of the major bosses on my first playthrough. Oh, you're weak. He's gonna capture you. Oh, I don't know. The bone zone. Our garage? I forgot this happened. I don't know if I saw this before. He refuses to actually kill you. Also, did I hear a single syllable of Asgore talking there? I don't know if I heard it. I heard a singular... Oh. Oh. What the fuck? On the guest room, it's on the I don't know if I... I don't know if I did this. Nefily Nefily yours. yours. It's It's a cage that you can just, like, walk right out of, I'm pretty sure. It's a it's doggy so bed. Fun. It's, like, got the windows and stuff. I'm so pissed about my bubble tea. That's like, sad. We came back to, like, the whole glide thing, so I got distracted, but, like... The bubble tea was what I was looking for the most, and my fucking Uber Eats driver just didn't, like, just forgot, Yeah, I that's guess. weird. Fucking sucks. That is sad. And I've, I've had so many struggles with getting food from this particular place, and specifically the bubble tea. They always fuck up the bubble tea in some way. Sometimes they'll give me, like, the wrong order, where it's like, a pineapple-flavored bubble tea with the nasty-ass jelly cubes in it, and I'm like, why would anyone order this? Uh-huh. I don't Let know if I even know this me. place. That's weird. A pineapple bubble tea. Milk tea. I love me some bubble tea. But my problem is I just pound it. It's like that in Thai tea. We ever had Thai tea? I just pound it too fast. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I need to savor so this good. more. But I just destroy it. I, I can't chug. I can't chug anything. But I can't. I just drink really fast. Default. Yeah. Amazing. I feel so sincere. Wait a second. I still have to capture you. Whoopsie doopsie. It's like when my friends are like, yeah, I'm into like, um, like nice whiskeys. I'm always like, don't give me that because I won't respect it as a nice whiskey. I will just pound it by accident. Put ketchup on that steak and eat it in one bite. I will spell sands in ketchup on my whiskey. <laughs> you, 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 you. Ooh, just barely. What to cook for his date? There is, uh, in order to do true pacifist, you're gonna have to do the, like, dating sequence again. Do you remember that? You think you need that for true pacifist? Yeah, and you have to do it for a few characters, too. I did it for Papyrus. Yeah. I don't know if I did it for anybody more than him? I think there? there's only one other, maybe. Is ah. it Aphis? It's Aphid, yeah. Aphid? <laughs> I don't know her name. Alphys? Alphys, yeah. I, I heard it both ways. Alphys or Alphys. I say Alphys. MTT brand fishy cream. Oh, it said anime cream before. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Parallel spaghetti. Whoa! Oh, they're glitching. Were they? Yeah, look, the bones, they're moving. Huh? Their pixels are all weird. Was that, is it always doing that? I think they're they were always doing this that. Time? Okay. Oh, they are, I guess they're always just glitching. Very, very slightly. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh no, I fucked up. I didn't push higher. Wow. Cute. Oh, it says something different. Brand cute juice behind his ear. Cute juice. Gross. Fucking, at the end of Partners in Time, it turns out that there's like these, there's, like, these alien mushrooms growing all over the Mushroom Kingdom. And it turns out that baby tears are what gets rid of them. Baby so, tears, and, so. and people were in, in chat were like, Luigi juice is the cure, because baby Ew. Luigi was like, on one of the mushrooms, and it like, and then Egad was like, I made a machine that produces baby tear compound that will <laughs> baby cure the entire compound. place. We need to get, get the entire place wet with Luigi water. Ew. I'm not trying to get the entire place wet with Luigi water. Well, uh, if you watched the new Your Favorite Martian music video, like I know you did and should have, <laughs> Uh, you would know that Bill Cosby is running an illegal uh, orphan tier operation in a warehouse. That's like the fucking Ray William Johnson? Yeah. Am I getting that right? Yeah, he literally is like, I'm coming back to make another shitty 
bro, what the Saul. fuck? And he That's did. Ridiculous. And he says he's back now, and I'm like, oh god, why is Ray William Johnson re-entering my life? Never again, Ray William Johnson, we've been over this. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm low again. Damn, this is a tough fight, actually. That's like, I think... I don't know if... Deltarune, it just, it has like a more like fleshed out fighting system where it's not necessarily harder or easier, but it's a little like more you're in control, it feels like. <laughs> Who cares? Give up. Yeah, someone said that the combat of this game feels rudimentary compared to uh, Deltarune. It does, like now that I'm used to Deltarune. Rattling his bones! He's rattling say. his bones! Wait a second. Can I be done? Special attack. Oh no! Just can't get hit. No, Absolutely. no, please don't do it again. I'm gonna put you in jail. Ah, damn it. You may have cleverly escaped. I've upgraded. No, please. Uh, how did I beat it first try when I did it last time? What? He's oh, upgraded he... the facilities. I, I assume this means he's like put, like filled your bowl with food or something. I don't know. A hot, a hot dog, dog cut, up. cut up into the kibble. Now nice. that's delicious. <laughs> that is delicious. That's how he's enticing you. Uh. Okay, the trick is... <clears throat> go to the inn mm. and stay the night and re. Wow. And they're sleeping the game over. What even are they? Little ghosty goose? Weird dudes, yeah, I don't know. He's up there for two minutes. Money back. I didn't realize it was just free because I, I don't think I did it before. I was like, 80 gold, that's too much. Oh, she just gives you your money back. Yeah, it's right. just free to do. <laughs> I also like the building that says Library. Yes, and we you, know it's spelled and wrong. And if you talk to the librarian, she's like, yeah, we know about the sign. <laughs> That's such a weird joke, too. The yeah, booth. it makes you wonder if they, like, initially misspelled it and then decided to make a joke about it. it I don't funny. know. Okay, I'm back out again. This time I'm actually going to beat you. He's going to fucking annihilate Like, him. again? I would make you spaghetti. You would want to see me. Hungry, too. Hungry for justice. Someone said, well, last time, assumedly, you didn't have a monochrome fruit kibitzing in your ear. Are you are you saying that I'm the factor that is detracting from his success? Yeah, that's right. That's true. He's Maybe distracting. I should, I should shut the fuck up. I keep looking over and being like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's grapefruit. He's really here. He's real. Yeah, I'm going fast this time, Papyrus. You bitch. Wow. Ooh. I don't know if you can actually make yourself fall faster. Just, it, it, really, this is just that um, Google Chrome internet out game. <laughs> yeah, it's a dino game. Yeah, you Whoa. can like, control the height of your jumps, which is nice. Dab's marinara sauce. Didn't even say behind his ear because you skipped it. You just skipped Dab's marinara sauce. Dab's friend, Bishy Cream. I liked attraction slime, and I like the anime cream. <laughs> Cute wow. juice. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, by the way, I'm sure you've seen footage of it, but the Sans fight uses the same, like, blue heart mechanic and uh, is just ridiculous Dang, its execution. I I think, I, I mean, like, I've seen footage of it, but not since I, like, Whoa. Whoa. understood Undertale. Like, I think I just saw it beforehand. Yeah. How cool fight. But now I know the truth. Breath. Well, luckily I'm still barely... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Are you guys going to do a different run after True Pacifist? Uh, Lark, I think, is debating doing Genocide. I might do Genocide, or I might go right to Delta Rune Genocide. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm kind of sw switching back and forth between the games. If, do let me know if you decide that you're not going to do Undertale Genocide, because then I want to tell you about all the cool things that happen in it. Oh, are there cool things that happen <laughs> yeah, in it? there are cool things, yeah. Here and there. Oh my god, I'm low again, please! Oh my god. Why I, am I struggling I'm so bad? It's the kibitzen, I'll shut up. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, but like the... Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. That's Sans' fight theme, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the only time you even hear that? Yeah. Yeah, so like that's the crazy thing is that's like the most famous song from Undertale and it's like the yeah. one specific instance. There's actually on the soundtrack, there is a fake Sans theme that's called like song that might play when you fight Sans. Huh. And it's like, you know how he has a... Dong, da, dong, dong. It's like a battle theme version of that. So it's just supposed to be like... And and it's and again it's it's called 
song that might play when you fight Sam. But it doesn't, too, actually, but it doesn't play. actually play when you oh, fight Sam. Oh, weird. So it's like a fake Megalovania. To like try to jibate you. Nice. Made it to this part every time. Here we go. Give me your special attack. Very soon I'll use my special attack. Come on, do it to me. Yeah! Ah! Ooh, ah! Shit. Okay, maybe I should eat. Do I have... Okay, should I eat... Oh, snow peas. What does stick do? I don't know. You, you throw, throw the stick. stick. Brings it back in his mouth. Nice. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a way to stall. Where did you even pick up that stick? No idea. Maybe it's something special for the fight. Hmm. Okay, no, I need to use... Uh... Shit. Snow peas? No, I need, I need to bring that. Can't yeah, get all, it's the thing of, is all these healing items. You should have just maybe bought something from uh, the store. The store, yeah, I should have. Cinnabon okay, hold on, maybe we can do it. Last chance, come on. I just can't get hit, and oh. I literally got hit instantly. <laughs> okay, come on. He's preparing a bone attack. Special attack. I made it. <laughs> oh no, the dog got it. What I think it's. I really doing? like how the box moves around. Yeah. Like. Boopy peek over there, this little dog. That's cute. The sand. Oh, it's eyes. The sand spite does that like crazy, too. Stop munching on that bone. There's Delta Rune, does some really interesting ones where it like mm. totally changes the ba how the battlefield huh. is. I'm gonna come back here with my special attack. Oh well. She's a really cool regular attack. He's getting ready for a regular attack. Consecutive normal punches. Oh. Ah, I'm gonna go insane. I just need food. I think that's the trick. Oh. I was gonna say, there's fucking a pot sticker right in front of you. The correct form would be not as persistent as papyrus. Please. I've lost so many times. <laughs> What's in the bowl now? Hot dog. You didn't even change it. That's I've lost too many times. You fool. Okay, this time is the real time, and I'm gonna actually stock up. Hello, yes, I would like to sleep here. Refill my health. <laughs> He's eating the bust. <laughs> mm. Like an animal. Mm. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Craig has. Bye. Yeah, cinnamon bun is what you want, I think. Oh my god. I'm going He's to meet him. Ready to murder Papyrus. So help me in god. In cold blood. Papyrus is dead to me. He's also literally dead. He's a skeleton. He's a star man waiting in the sky. I wonder if the map pat lore is that Sans was used to be a kid and fell down and died. Yeah, that is. He's Ness. He's Ness. I'm skipping his grass! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What'd I just say? He just gave you the option to not fight him. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Well done. Well, now I'm gonna be in the real, the old fashioned. I'm not even gonna get hit once. <laughs> you gave me the option to not fight him? Fuck! That would have been interesting, because I probably has different dialogue. Yep. Shit! Then that wouldn't have been true pacifist. It would have been pacifist minus papyrus. <laughs> no, you still get to spare him. <laughs> He's thinking. Whee. Okay, I'm literally not gonna get hit this time. Not once. Wow. You get hit once, we're ending the stream instantly. Instantly ending. Well, damn, I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we are gonna crank this out in one stream because it's already been two hours and we're at Papyrus. Yeah, but I think the there come. I remember when I played it, like the beginning of the game. Yeah, there's long. a lot, and then suddenly it goes by very fast. Yeah. Uh, so I that was kind of what I expected too. It's because there's just a lot of dialogue and a lot of like puzzles with these guys before the game really like hits the meat of it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, I was gaming. ready. He's gaming, he's gaming. I'm not even gonna get hit. He's gaming, he's gaming. Undyne, I wonder who that is. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game, 
when I or when I first replayed this game, I was like, were they talking about Undyne this whole time? Yup. When I first played it, yes, they were. I just didn't really process it because I was like, that's not a character I know, so I don't yeah. care. Doesn't mean anything to me. Oh. Oh. Fuck. That's okay. You've got cinnamon buns up the ass. That's true. We were talking about like sponsored, like shills earlier, and I was saying. I liked this, uh, the, the analogy that I came up with, which is that some people are just sitting there, like, shilling, like, PlayStation shit, just with a tube up their ass that is just dispensing quarters, <laughs> being pumped directly from Sony headquarters, right up their ass at all hours of the day. They gotta, like, ins they gotta bring, like, an electrician out and, like, install the quarter tube <laughs> so you can get your quarter fix. <laughs> fuck, I itched my head, and it worked. Now, fuck! Wow. <laughs> It worked, so he kept the his head, and then it didn't work. And then it didn't work. Fuck! Mm. Okay, time for a cinnamon roll. Time for a cinnamon roll! Item. He's rattling his bones. Cinnabon. Oh, you had a nice cream the whole time, too. For uh, <laughs> some reason, I didn't think I could change pages. I was wrong. Yeah, I thought you tried, too, actually. What do you Ow. mean? Jumped while it was inside your body. Well, now I'm never gonna get hit. Ooh, now I'm right. never gonna get hit. <laughs> nice. Give up. No, I would never. I want you to fight me. It is funny that he has like a progression for if you like lose to him a few times. Yeah. And then eventually he just goes, you know what? You don't even need to fight me. That's, I must, I think literally on my own playthrough, I did beat him first try because I didn't go to that little like jail yeah. thing. Okay, here comes the special attack. Have you seen the concept art for Papyrus, by the way? No, I don't think I have. Oh, it's pretty good. I'll have to show you. He looks different? Oh, he looks different. Is he still a skeleton? You'll see. Okay, I'm curious. Ah. Nice. I won't use any more Cinnabons. Last chance. <laughs> Go ahead, show me your special attack. <laughs> That's cute. That's funny. I like that. Little dog guy. Yeah. I think his eyes are bugging out. <laughs> it's looking up too. Ooh. Stop munching on that bone. Dang, you just took him away. I think later when you go to Papyrus' house, there's like a big pile of bones and he's like, yeah, those are all my attacks. He just keeps them in a pile. Just in a box. Yeah, he needs to, where are you going to pull his bones? That's cute. <sighs> Here's a perfectly normal, regular attack. Oh, my man. My man. Please. Madu. Nice. Doggy. There he goes. Ah. Cool. cool dude. Dude. <laughs> and there he is, the cool dude. That's the same dude who's in that little house earlier. Oh shit, it's the big jump. Oh, oh no. I... <laughs> no, I didn't fucking god damn. Okay, that's it. I'm done with this. Done with this fight. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> He's gonna skip it. Get out of here. <laughs> I forgot that you just hold up there. I was like, oh, you can jump on this, can't you? Nope. Ah! <laughs> I literally can't believe it. That was the end, too. That was the last that thing. That was the last move. Oh, <laughs> my God. Just let me pass. Let me pass, Papyrus. I give up. I give up. Just watch uh, Lark's original playthrough if you want to see him actually beat this guy. In a single try. <laughs> Fight Papyrus? No. Okay. So yes, I'll accept my own failure. Wow. wow. I did it, guys. Gamer. I bonkers. totally did it. No damage. I can't even stop somebody as weak as you. Is that how every fight, if I just beef it enough, it'll just I let me go? I don't think so. I remember I was stuck on Metaton for a while, and it never did that for me. What a loser. What a fucking dummy. How First rude day. of a player would you have to be to call Papyrus a loser? Yeah, that'd be so mean. Wait, so, so I have to, to go date him to do pacifist? Uh-huh. Why? It's like you have to befriend the characters to do, like, true pacifist. That's really all it huh. is to it. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Lark's first Undertale stream is lost to time because he didn't save the VOD. Oh, yeah! Oops. I forgot about that.
So, never mind. The footage of him defeating that boss is impossible to view. It might be on the second one. Yeah, potentially. King of Monsters. King of Monsters. Godzilla. Big fuzzy pushover. I forgot that the first Undertale stream is gone. That's the one, and of all the, of all the streams to forget, that's like the worst Undertale's possible one. Undertale's first stream, yeah. I remember it was like, because you like did something during that stream that I wanted to put in Twitch scraps. Because it was like, in my playthrough and your playthrough, we both separately had a moment where we were like, I'm eating spaghetti, Lamau, on webcam. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to put, you know, put them like side by side in Twitch scraps. And then I like messaged you and I was like, hey, where was the first, because I couldn't find it on your VOD channel. I was like, where was the first Undertale VOD? And you were like, oh, uh, no. <laughs> I think I literally just like left it on Twitch and then it deleted the VOD over time. Insane rip. Oops. Looks a little lost of time. Only 40 special people know. Two jumps. There's something weird with one of those echo flowers, if I recall correctly. Like something oh, a little spooky. Yeah, if if you did you talk to the orange fish guy? Yeah. If you go into this room and talk to the flower without talking to the orange fish guy first, because they repeat whatever they hear, yeah. it says something like only I can guard the secret of what the Echo Flower does, or something like that. It's Interesting. He like says something like vaguely spooky, but kind of funny. If you uh, talk to the flower first. I'm gonna do it. Greetings, Sans. Everybody loves Sans. That fucking thing with the spinny eyes looks like Spinda, the Pokemon. Oh yeah, it totally does. There is a really infamous fake Grilby fight, by the way. Like the the bartender here, a fake Grillby fight. Somebody, like somebody like made a fake leak. Like, look, you can fight Grillby. Yeah, they made like an animation of uh, of, of a Grillby fight, and it looks really well done. But uh, it is completely, it's just not true at all. But it like japed me. It japed a lot of people into thinking it was real temporarily. Dang! At that point, you should have just made it a real fight and made it a mod. <laughs> yeah. Double order of Berg. There is a sort of, when I was playing Flash games, there's kind of a genre of Flash game and like that sort of ilk where people make fan-made Undertale fights or specifically there's one that's meant to train you on the Sans fight. So it's just replicating the oh, Sans like fight. practice? That's kind of cool. So you can do it without having to do all of Genocide Run. Ketchup. Bone apple tea. Cap falls off. Oh no. What a dickhead. I remember one time when I was a kid, my grandma made spaghetti for my brother and was like putting parmesan on it and the cap fell off and I was like, ah <laughs> Like probably like one of those movies where I was like, that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And then she said something like, like after I was finally done laughing, cause there's just a pile of parmesan, she was like, would you like some spaghetti with your parmesan? And I was like, I remember it well. That's such a classic, like, the first time you've heard a joke of that type as a kid and you yeah. just think it's unbelievably funny. I was like, holy shit, It's you like are that the fucking, like, person. crying laughing emoji that's, like, all, like, oh, the distorted. eyes bugging out. Yeah. <laughs> I remember laughing harder than I've ever laughed in my entire life at a scene in Ace Ventura 2 <laughs> where he's carrying a bat. He's got, like, an albino bat and he's, like, carrying it through the forest just screaming. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I have. He's talking about the echo flowers. Oh. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, that's funny, actually. Yeah. But he's still he's still actually talking about flowers. A flower appears to whisper things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Predictions. Sun must be using an echo flower. Okay, but no, it's flowy. Mmm. Cool. I like, I like, great, the spotlight hits and things go quiet. And you're like, yeah. oh, shit. And then it's still a jape. That's great. Good shit. Anyway, Albino Bat and Ace Ventura too. That's really all there is to it. It's like they established that like Ace Ventura, he's afraid of bats, even though he's like such an animal guy. And then like the big prize of the movie is an albino bat. And at the end of the movie, he like finds it in a cage in like a cave in the forest. And there's like this shot of him like reaching into the cage and he's like, and then it like hard cuts to just him running through the woods with this bat in his arms, just like flapping like crazy. And he's like, ah! Just like screaming his head off, and I thought it was the funniest shit. And I was, I was like that fucking crying, laughing emoji, just bugging out. I, I nearly died that day. Can I eat my burger? Food is probably cold. I'd there. offer you a glass of water, but I never touch the stuff. Is Grillby related to Heat's Flamesman? He might be. <laughs> I don't know. There's actually, I think there's like a 
flame like waifu character that's in like a sailor outfit later on in uh, Hotland that I think is related to Grillsby. Yo. Save. Mods ban that flower. <laughs> I remember there's something that my family and I still talk about to this day, and it's it was this deadly combo of my brother, once again with spaghetti and parmesan, he literally was saying, man, this spaghetti, he was a kid, man, this spaghetti is good, but it needs some more parmesan. <laughs> and then he like burped halfway through saying it, and we thought it was uh. fucking the funniest. We're like, oh, she burped when he said it. And then later that day, we watched Transformers, like that same day. Mm -hmm. And in the very beginning, the very first word of the movie, Optimus Prime goes, Earth. And it sounds like he burps it, and we're like, Parmesan! Hello, I'm here to have a date. I think you've talked about Optimus Prime burping the word Earth before on Earth. the stream, too. That rings a vague bell. Earth. Oh, we went on oh, a little yeah. walk. Because his house was actually right there. <laughs> Funny. Wow, we made it. My house. All right. What's in that door? What's in Papyrus uh, Sansa's room? I don't know. I think the chat's probably gonna jump up my ass if I'm wrong about this, but I don't think you can ever get in there. Or if you do, it's like underwhelming. And there's just nothing sus about it. I love their tall ass sink. <laughs> I <laughs> increased the height. <laughs> so you can store more bones. Take a look-see. <gasps> Dougie. Oh no. Catch that meddling canine. Nice. Damn, he got wow. the trombone. Damn, I like, I increased the height of my sink. Like what a weird, <laughs> like what a weird joke. It's what we, it's the fucking house renovations around here. Empty bag of chips. Trash can, feel free to visit it anytime. What is this? Brother's pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in sprinkles, wow. It's like feeding a fish. Favorite game oh, show? Oh, it's the Metaton theme too. For I don't think this particular, particular tune is on the OST. It might just be a speeded up version of his later theme. Oh God, this book is amazing. Quantum physics. There's another joke book, <laughs> look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> At it's like, I'm up. not gonna go down this rabbit hole. A classic image. <laughs> it's just like a weirdly, and it has like a little shadow on it too. A little shitty bone. <laughs> it's not even like centered, it's so weird. It always reminds me of what's important in life. One bone. That's my room. Yeah, we, I'm finished. And I love he's got like, stop, like no girls allowed. And, like a bunch of bullshit <laughs> on there. That's, I had some friends who had literally the caution tape around their mm. room and stuff. Our friend he's got, Quentin. Like, a car bed. Oh, that's actually so fucking. Like, there's so many things. If I could, like, get, like, a Lightning McQueen bed, I would have one. Like, you know how <laughs> like, cool right that now? Would be? Absolutely. <laughs> that would be awesome. I know what awesome. I'm getting you for Christmas. I'd bring a girl over and they'd be like, fuck, fuck me now on the Lightning McQueen bed. <laughs> and then I go, but the Lightning McQueen Crocs stay on. <laughs> I cruise. Cruise well, I snooze. snooze. Action figures. I don't have so many. Isn't there a scene in that space balls where he's playing? He's like, there are battle figures. Like it's, to, I don't know. There's some scene with action because I haven't seen them in a million years. Santa! You know, the car bed kind of comes into it later, actually, I just realized in a weird way. A human flag have a cool skeleton on it. Descended from skeletons. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. <laughs> The ending always gets me. <laughs> Dang, look in the closet. Closer hunt. Wow. wow. The internet, I'm quite popular there. Wow. <laughs> A double digit <laughs> follower count. Wow, he's Which negative implies two. he has negative two. <laughs> <laughs> A jealous troll. <laughs> A goofy font. It's, it's his same. brother. Is open to. What do you say? Wow, Facebook. There's a special attack. There's a special attack. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Seen everything. Yep, I've seen it. Let's go on the date. Yeah, boy. Time to date. Dating start. 
this part, these little sequences might be my like least favorite part of the game. They're not terrible. Yeah. But they just kind of drag on a it's little bit. It's one of the bit. ones where it's like, it's funny the first time you do it, but then it's like the yeah. second time it's like, I really don't care. Yeah. He's got more animation now. Oh like, my God. Rule book. He's got like Mickey Mouse gloves, like the, with the three stripes mm -hmm. on the back. Press the C on your keyboard for the dating hub. Using controller, you dumb fool. Foo. Through. Reel it in. Crime. <laughs> Crime. Forgot about egg. egg. Wait, are these all? There was a fucking thing that said egg in the original. I don't remember. Yeah, that. I don't remember that either. Crime. I think all these things go away very soon. Yeah, they don't last very long. Ahem. Dog radar too. Go on a date with you. Yes. <laughs> Wowie. Wow. Look at his weird asymmetric eyes. I'm glad that Hold they on. just do like that. Let's look at the papyrus concept art. Oh yeah, where's papyrus concept art? In chat, you're not gonna be able to see this. Sorry. I'm curious. There it is. What the fuck? <laughs> it's his fucking, it's the original sprite for Papyrus. He's Hold just on. a lump. We'll put it up for the, uh... he, He's doing the same pose. Yeah. Oh, it's a fucking web P. Oh, tricked. Unbelievable. Now I'm gonna take this weird random screen cap from Know Your Meme. There it is. There it is. The original Papyrus. Hello, art. little child. It is me, the great Papyrus. He's got three nipples. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> this Papyrus, as we all know and love him. Hey. Oh, Papyrus. Part three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Papyrus is actually based on a character from Off, weirdly enough. Really? He's like, yeah, he's like one of the early bosses from Off, but with his like personality flip-flopped. Because the guy in Off is like the scary skeleton dude who's just a complete asshole. Oh, weird. But then here's like Papyrus who's just a total doofus, lovable dork. Yeah, lovable dork. He is a good character. I like Papyrus. Yeah. Your dating power! No, it's going up! <laughs> Massacre! <laughs> Tension! <laughs> and all of these different songs are also on the soundtrack, by the way. It, just kinda, it goes through a whole bunch of them. Uh -huh. I can wear clothing. I always wear special clothes underneath my clothes. Yeah, wow. Dedan. That's the guy's name. I love it. A genuine compliment. And he's got Mickey Mouse pants on. Look, it's got the buttons. Yeah. Date power. One of the Steam like trading cards that you can get from playing this game is like a photorealistic version of this outfit, where it's like a real skeleton with like basketball shoulders and shit, and there's like spaghetti everywhere. It's pretty amazing. And uh, I believe. If you want to speed run this part, it's under his hat. Yeah. My hat? My hat. My hat! My hat. It's a present! Dang. <laughs> it's, it's bringing Remy Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, it's pulling on his nothing. It's his brain! Spaghetti, of course. Oh no, so wrong. Oh, the date power. Artisan's work! It looks like an like, exposed brain. It does. <laughs> Find the aged in an oaken cast. So it is spaghetti. <laughs> it is spaghetti then. Now we'll eat it. <laughs> the taste is indescribable. I love how you can interpret it either way. It's indescribably good or bad. Or bad, yeah. Probably bad, because your face scrunched up, I guess. Date power. Oh uh, no, you're gonna break the date meter. No! It goes all the way to his head. Went into his mouth and out the back of his head like the box art for God Hand. Yo! I'd be in love with me. I want you to be happy. Express my feelings. Oh, it told me! It told me what, Papyrus? I... Is it hot in me? Or just me? I'm sorry! Oh no, sad. Romantically? Wow. He's so, like, vain that he assumes that you're just obsessed with him. <laughs> yeah. Let me draw on you deeper into my intense love. Oh no, poor... <laughs> I can't feel it. Oh no, help me through these trying times. You can tell that Andrew is really emotionally resonating with this dialogue. <laughs> it just goes on. <laughs> I'm trying to get true pacifist here. Papyrus, oh you're my interrupting God. me. His phone number, okay, great. I feel like I always underutilized the phone call mechanic in this game. I feel like there's a lot of like unique dialogue I missed. Doing, not, or like neglecting that, because I always forget it existed. Isn't there, there's somewhere where you can hear Gaster by running, ringing the phone. I think. Oh, where you can like call Gaster? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've heard about that too. I don't know the exact circumstances. I think it might be where you got the fake, the wrong number. I don't remember. Maybe I'll go back there and try. Yeah, to I don't know. 
Okay, I have gone to Grillby's. I had my date with Sans. I had my date with Papyrus. Nice. Okay, now. Yes. <laughs> Explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. That's so funny. All but gives my life validation. I always call this dude Flapjack because he looks like Flapjack. Oh yeah, but he's totally got does. the oh he's got the stripes. Yep, he's the striped shirt kid, and he also has no arms. Yeah, he doesn't have any arms. And it's like a recurring joke that like he keeps falling over because he like doesn't have good balance, I guess. He just so like five times in the game he just falls flat on his face. Oh, hope nobody's in here. <gasps> Unkind. See, I, I think, in my mind, like, after the papyrus date, that's when the game goes faster. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but... I think you're basically right, actually. Especially because Lark is not going to lose a single time from now on to nope. the end of the game. That's right. It's hip to grill bees. It's hip to grill bees. Fuck. <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Oh! Uh oh, you rustled. What have you fucking done? Uh oh. Undyne, you're gonna fall off that cliff, bitch. Oh no, don't throw that. It's a lot less menacing now that we know Undyne's chill. Yeah. And there's her like red hair, you can even see it outside of her helmet. Cool that it's like lit like that too. Like yeah, you have. get sort of a unique sprite shading here. That's cool. Okay, bye. Isn't that little flapjack kid supposed to be in here or something? Or is that yeah, later? Yeah, he shows up too. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. Poggers, he was right in that little patch of grass. She was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. Let's go watch her beat some bad guys. Oh. There he goes, eating shit. Because he doesn't have arms. He has no balance. Feeling of dread. All right, here's these fucking things. Four bridge seeds alight in the water, they will sprout. I'm trying to remember, like... You, like, pick them up and make a row of four of them, and then they make a bridge. That's right. I like a little beep whenever you pick one up, too. It's a little mouse sound. Yeah. Squeak. Wow. Who, someone in chat said, who is Vriska? You don't know the can of worms that you've opened. Oh, fuck. Aaron. Aaron with his 16 pack. Yeah, that's actually so weird. Arms. Ooh. Ah. Good. Flex again, Aaron. Rice is hard. Nice. I won't lose though. Wink. What is he Looking crying? Different. Is he sweating? What is this? Of course, he says T H O instead of spelling out though. That's right. He's ready. Classic for Aaron douche move. Flexes himself out of the room. Wow. Poggers. Like Aaron. So did you get the, okay. down to the bottom right of this room? I think you did get the secret here. Yeah, right? what was it? I don't remember though. There's a bench and then you find a quiche underneath it and it's like the abandoned quiche. Should I go get the abandoned quiche uh, again? If you want to, it's not a huge deal. Is uh, it used for something? It's not used for anything, it's just a healing item. It's a reference to Toby Fox's like personal life. Apparently he like found a quiche underneath the bench at one point and thought it was like the best moment of his life or whatever. That's put it in actually hotel. hilarious. That's yeah. so good. Yeah, I, I did do this. I, mean, I think I just, because I was curious, I tried it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Yankees, I think I kept it the entire game, too. I don't yeah. think I even ate it. Yeah, I think, I don't think there's any use for it. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Of having a quiche? Of owning a quiche, I guess, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I like how in his head, because that happened in real life, like, that's yeah. his head cannon uh -huh. for when he found the real quiche. Somebody couldn't handle the responsibility. <laughs> Makes me think of like when you're at the grocery store and you're like in the produce aisle or something, or it's like you'll, you'll be like on the, in like the candy and cookies aisle and there'll be like a discarded like cabbage or something there where somebody decided they didn't want like veggies and instead oh, wanted yeah, something totally. unhealthy. It's like, ah, uh, decisions were made here. You want to just basically I don't remember. stand on that and shoot them all. Straight. Ah, there we go. That's right. Yeah. I think I did it very easily on my own, but I was like, oh, God, yeah. I know that it was something sort of special. Yeah, I don't mind backseating those little things like that because you've already done all this shit. I've already done it. Just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Waterfall secret? Like erasers? I think actually go inspect the waterfall, did you? I tried, but I don't know if it did anything. I just dialed every number sequentially until <laughs> I found yours. <laughs> A gross bandage. Are you wearing a gross bandage? Uh, yeah, that's like the that's one of the items that you can potentially find. I'm, so I'm not wearing it right now. 
Uh, yeah, but you could all- okay, you could also, like, lie to him, because he's saying Undyne is asking him about this so Undyne can, like, identify you. Oh, I see, so I just needed weird- Yeah, okay. But spoiler alert, regardless of how you answer that, Papyrus will, like, twist it in a way where he just gives Undyne- gives you a way to Undyne. Sad. I think. Or maybe it's the other way around, he, like, always protects you. Oh yeah, this is just like the- the Sifra River. The sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, the flowers oh. are talking. Wusha. That's a weird looking thing. Washua. Washua. Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. I'd love for you to clean you. Tweet, Green says the bird. Means Green clean. means clean. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got one of them. Friends with a little bird. <laughs> it's friends with a little bird. <laughs> He assumes you're lying if you aren't, and vice versa. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I like that they put little stuff in that, like that in the game too, for like adding a little bit of variety when you uh, are replaying it, because they know you're gonna replay it. Yeah. Just a little something, something. Can you check wall. Yeah, just, just like go up and get a secret. It's not even really a secret. Oh, there we go. It's such a secret. Oh, where's oh, my his phone? phone? Fell out. Fuck! Oh my god, the phones be falling. Why did the humans attack? Single human soul. Also, this part of the song. That part is in. Undyne's fight theme too, but like much faster. Interesting. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, ba awesome da, 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 da. That's fun. Where in a game where normally it's like, mm -hmm. doesn't really have that suddenly light, it's all dramatic. Oh, this part's really cool too. I love how like when you touch one of these spears, it like takes you into a little enemy encounter too. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. This is kind of like a bullet hell battle outside of the bullet hell. Yeah. I just realized. Deltarune has a lot of sort of stuff like mm. this. Which is fun because they're fun. There's a lot more like in-universe dodging around. Oh, like, Flapjack, I need you to take a bullet for me. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sailed right over your head. <gasps> it's scary. <gasps> no! Oh. This is just Flapjack. It's Flapjack. Your hand is in my eye! <laughs> Look at his little happy face. <laughs> she just puts him back down. Ah. Uh, pat, pat. Sorry, kiddo. <laughs> Bye. Give them a glass of water and off on their way. Oh. Well, they're dead. Flapjack. Oh, he's alive. Yo, did you see that? Touch me! <laughs> You're just sitting a little bit to the left. <laughs> and then he oh, fell again. Eat shit, kiddo. You do be eating shit. Oh, the ghost crystal cheese. Crystal cheese. Crystal cheese. Magical crystal. Squeak. Wow. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> That's what it heard. <laughs> Squeak. Cute. That determination is filled. <gasps> Sans Undertale. No. Don't put your eye on the I telescope. Have to put it. No. I have to put premium no. telescope. I'm gonna use it. Oops, I fucked up. Not satisfied, don't worry. Full refund. Dun dun dun! <laughs> no, what have I done? Oh my god, look at that little man! Who is this guy? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I can't remember that guy. I love those little random characters. Those little dudes, little NPCs. I think there's a shop up there if you uh Oh wish to go. Wish to go, yeah. I wish, I wish you sell my might. Let me in. I think. Oh no, never mind. It's just the it's nice this guy, the ice cream guy. Well I'll, oh I really look at Oh fortunately I'll buy an ice uh, an ice cream. Three cards of free ice cream. I would love to buy an ice cream from you, an ice cream man. Oh, I'm holding out of too much stuff. Well then, bye. Ooh. A list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Robin's looking at us. That's so sad. Okay, now this way. An ice cream man. I don't really remember this area. Yeah. Um, it's fine. You know, you just basically keep walking. Wishes to make. I like that. That's a good idea. Like a passing conversation. Mm -hmm. Just 
one, but it's kind of stupid. I used to have a poster on my wall that was like, it was like this is really cool art that somebody made that was like a glass diorama. They made like a series of different glass dioramas of different Undertale areas, and one of them was waterfall, and it was like all the glowing water and the mushrooms, and it just looked really cool. I don't have I don't have it anymore though. I don't think I picked up those ballet shoes last time. Mmm, and that's from the uh, the blue child. I had too much shit. I gotta go put stuff away so I can pick up the ballet shoes. Mm. Yeah, maybe put put away the, like the butts pie and shit. Like yeah, that. stuff I'm just never gonna use. And the quiche, the quiche needs to go too. Yeah, I gotta keep that forever. Well, I don't know. <laughs> let me up. Let me up. Okay, here we go. Use the box. Okay, butts pie in there. Uh, I don't know. People were saying the stick is just like your starting weapon. So I don't know. Oh, I guess I'll put the spider donut in there too, just for now. And the snowman piece too. Oh yeah. What is that used for? That's just the snowman was like, bring me to a nice place far away. I think I, mean, I put him somewhere. I mean, I don't remember actually. It'll come up later. Okay. Okay. Now let me get the ballet shoes. Kind of. I don't know if I went. I must not have gone this way, cause, or I didn't realize that the ballet shoes had any meaning at all. Yeah. Pair ballet shoes. I think these are actually a weapon, by the way. Not, oh, seriously? Not, like, uh, not equipment, yeah. Because I think it's like an attack that's like oh, multiple yeah. kicks in a row. Oh, huh. I've never done attacks, so I don't Yeah, know. same. I, I barely have. I did Genocide Route when I played, because I streamed the demo of Undertale after I played the main game. And I was like, you know what, I'll do Genocide on this. Because it's, you know. Oh, yeah, just the demo. Sample. And I did, in fact, do the betrayal kill on Toriel, and I felt like a monster. Dang. It was also on Mother's Day. What? Oh my god, brutal! Yeah. Jesus. That is very brutal. Like how these guys, you literally do nothing. Freaking. Yeah. You know what? You know, oh, you know what those look like? What? Is there like a jello mold in Pajama Sam? Oh, that's what it looks like. I don't know why. I, like, it came to me as if in a dream. I mean, they definitely look like a jello mold. I don't know about any pajama sand. It's gotta be in pajama sand. Hmm. Problem is, I won't laugh. Liar. The fucking, like, t the Toriel betrayal kill, too. She says something like, I was trying to protect you from the world, but it turns out I should have been protecting the world from you. Whoa. And she, like, fades into dust or whatever. Like, you're not just bad, you're evil. Yeah, you're a fucked up monster. You can shoo him. Shoo That's him. That's amazing. I don't think it does anything. It's just fucking love. Flex away. There's this... See, you're a, you're a monster. But there's, there's this, like, I don't know, a TikTok sound or something where it goes, Oh. Oh, it's the big thing. I love this guy. Onion son. Onion son. It's like freaking just kill me already. And he goes, I'm not going to kill you. I'm a villain, not a monster. And then it like Thanos fucks Spider-Man or whatever. <laughs> but that's, I'm a villain, not a monster. Hi, Onion son. Hello. You have great faces. Yeah, he does have great faces. Yay. There's, you know how I was saying, you remember Burger Pants later on in the game? It's my big favorite. You remember, I don't know if I remember Burger Pants. He was like the guy with like weird facial expressions. And oh Toby, yeah, oh yeah, that, that, yo, totally, I knew it. And Toby Fox like posted images that were like, fun fact, Burger Pants like facial expressions are almost completely unchanged from his original sketches and showed like the original sketches and they all look like weird and shitty like that. <laughs> I always kind of got the same vibe from this guy's faces. Yeah, they do. I, when I saw Onion Sun, I was like, is this the one I'm thinking of that has all the weird faces? Uh, I think I was thinking of Burger Pants, but Onion yeah. Sun also has much. That's the end of this room. See ya. Do you see Onion Sun again? Waterfall. Dang, so <laughs> sad. Gone. Away. Poor fella. Poor fella. Oh. What the? F it's Shiren. Shiren. Uh, smile. It took me a while to like figure out really what I was looking at with this fucking enemy. I think it's like a mermaid that's looking away and they have kind of I, like a fish head. I think they have a fish head and their head is like invisible. Oh weird. And I think their head becomes visible when you uh, when you spare them. I think. Oh, but good. I was always like, what the fuck am I really like? Yeah, there you go. Her face is Oh, I see. It's like hidden behind her hair. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wow, what a lovely melody. Banger. What a lovely melody. That's on the soundtrack. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. Good. Mom. 
It's a great treasure. Well, then I gotta go get the treasure. Oh! Use this shen shenanigans. A piano here. Play it. So, do you remember the tune? I kind of doubt it. I don't. It's boom, bam, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam. There's also a. I don't remember. Yeah, well, there will be a thing later on that'll grind it into your brain. Yeah, I don't remember. There's a little music box that plays the tune. Boom, boom. But does it tell me the freaking only first eight? Boom, boom. Hold on, boom, I'm gonna do it. Boom, 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 boom. Is that the right one? I think I messed mm, it up. No, yeah. Nope. 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 Hold on. What the f- What is the, the circle one? How are you doing that one? It's just, just pressing B. Okay. Bum. 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 Just hit the button for that one. Yeah. And then what is it? Dum, bum, bum. Dun. Nope. Ah. Oh no, I know what it is. Oh, well, I got it. Every it. note except the ones that are the note. <laughs> Shit! Nope. nope. It is the middle one there. You want the middle one that is pointing down there for that note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is excruciating. <laughs> no! You literally I was aren't so going close. to get it. You literally aren't going to get it. Just move on. The circle, you want the circle one Circle there for again? <laughs> Just keep playing and it will tell you the tune. You don't, you are not going to get it. <laughs> Just go listen to the thing. The soul disappears. I don't care about the signs. It's this thing. In fact, is it not? Oh, I, I remember. It's it like seem dry. Yeah. Cool. I thought, what an ominous little statue, too. That looks awesome. Yeah. Please take one. Take an umbrella. There you go. The music box begins to play. That's your tune right there. That's lovely. Dun, dun, dun. There oh, there, and then it shows you it. Okay. Okay, so... I'm not even sure if I ever even really saw it show you the inputs there. That's nice. That's what I needed, the inputs. But I did uh, already forget them all. Okay, here we go. You missed a circle input. Oh. Wrong. What? I memorized it. A legendary artifact. Wow, whack. Take it. I'm carrying too many dogs. I oh, I remember this. Yeah. It's like dogs. What do you mean, dogs? I guess we didn't need to do this entire part. An annoying I dog. I wonder if it would accept if you did the circle note where I thought it would go there. Because that is in the song. Weird. Fast asleep. I have to get rid of the dog. It makes me think of that part. Uh, they patched the visual notes in later. Oh. Oh, because people like it didn't know. It absorbed the art of- oh no! Oh no! Bye! Wow. I did it. I really did it. Can I read the sign? No. Okay. Both are acceptable answers. Okay. I was- I was just thinking that, uh, it's like Psychonauts 2. There's a part where you need to type Lucy, but it will also accept Lucretia. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I kind of think it would accept both. Someone said it would accept both answers there too, which is kind of interesting. Instead, I freaking spell pissed. <laughs> oh, hello. Would you like an umbrella? Oh, stay under my umbrella. What is this? Oh, it's a puddle. Don't move. Stay under it. I used to see this thing walking around like when I was in college, if it was raining, where I would just find people with umbrellas and like kind of walk behind them <laughs> and be like, hopefully oh, they don't realize that I'm 
You're Sniping stealing their, umbrella. their umbrella-ness? <laughs> wow. He beats up bad guys and never loses. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, what's that flower? Take care of a flower. Mr. Dreamer. <gasps> oh my god. Dreamer. He's like obsessed with flowers too. She can beat up all the teachers. So true. This kid's such a little shitter. I want the teachers to get beaten up. She's cool to ever hurt an innocent person. She'd only kill a stinky human. Mm. The castle. Oh. I thought you like went into this room and then instantly just booked it to the left. I was like, <laughs> what is he doing? He's looking at the castle. That's cool. Yeah, this is a neat moment. And he got the little umbrella. Okay, put it away now. Turn the umbrella put it back. I don't need it anymore. Which is This way too part steep. is fucking kind of dumb uh, when you're going back through. If you're trying to like travel back through this world. Because when this little kid is here, this is like a point that you can't go up, you know? Yeah. So you need to like go around it some other way. Oh, there's like a duck that takes you yeah. across or something like that. Oh, bye. Yeah. Oh, but I remember, I remember coming around this way and being like, oh, I'll just loop around to the other area when I was playing this on stream. And then I was like, oh my oh, god. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh, and you had to like walk through that whole little yeah. castle area and... Yeah. What would he be called? A war. Countless monsters were turned to dust. Fuck them monsters. I like how you see the lighting and you know what that means. Oh my god. Ah! Her! Whoa! Whoa! perspective of this I guess there's just a second dock above yeah this one down suspended below. like an entire story above the dock <laughs> that she's on it's just like shooting up from the bottom uh, kind of weird I never really questioned this <laughs> nice did you manage to not take any damage I think there? so barely yeah just barely it's down here this is where I'm supposed to go maybe <laughs> oh shit oh no I ouchie 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 Ow. uh oh well this fucking dead. dock! I hate this dock. Who built so a dock like this? Inconvenient. Do this. Oh wait. Yeah, I think it's kind of like down into the lefty. Oh dang. This way. It's an unintuitive sort of a round way. Dock builders. Are wild and out. It's not even like there anymore. Where is she? Left. <laughs> Where did she- how did she even these things up? Must, must have been kind of a bitch to program. Yeah. I want- I, I assume it's random, kind of, yeah, and they, but they do like speed it. up and, like, become yeah. nice. Yeah. So. Now the dock's just huge. It seems like maybe if it's, like, it tries to place them on a place where there's no dock, it just doesn't put any, which is why occasionally it'll just shoot out, like, one or two spears. Yeah. Like there. Oh, maybe that was cinematic. Oh no. Your face is a dead end. in darkness. Uh oh, where did the spears go? Oh my god, wait, did we not do the thing? Oh my god, we're gonna get the bad ending now! Fuck! Wait, what thing, what? No, it's... I'm just kidding around. Oh, thank god. I was like, no, no, no! You're gonna have to fight Papyrus again. No! Ah! She cut my dock. Mm. Sounds like it came from over here. This is like young Toriel sound, I think. Fallen Down is you. the name of the song that plays when uh, Toriel finds you too. Here, get up. Mark, huh? That's a nice name. Bring, bring, bring. My name is... Oh. Who <gasps> was it? I don't know. I don't know. Whose name was it? It couldn't be anybody. Like how you landed in a flower bed too. Yeah, just like the beginning of the game. There are a few brands I recognize. Brands of garbage. It's just like game consoles in there. Yeah, I see like a little like like a uh, NES controller. A piece of trash will flow through. 
endless cycle of worthless garbage. Why would that fill mm. me with determination? That just fills me with sadness. Little TV broken in there too. A bike. It's horn uses a honk of despair. <laughs> that wasn't a honk. What is this? Oh yeah. Inside is empty. It was a whoop. I forgot about this little bit. Freeze-dried space food bars. I don't think I have any room. Oh, I do have room. I remember eating freeze-dried food on my first ever backpack. My dad was like, this would be a cool idea, and it tasted like shit, because that was ages ago. DVD case for an anime. Kitty Mew Mew. Claw marks. Wait, what? You ate astronaut ice cream a long time ago, and you didn't... What? And it tasted bad. You just didn't like it? Yeah, we d I did not like it. Oh. I, you, said, you said, like, it was old. It's just, like, free I don't think freeze-dried was that good then. Like in like 1990, whenever. Oh, okay. So it just kind of tastes like shit. Oh, it's angry. Oh my god. I didn't fight you. Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost lives inside a dummy. There you go. My cousin used to. That's that's actually I a see. different dummy than the one at the beginning of the game. Though. Oh, until you came along. Nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. Actually, no, this is. They're talking about Napstablook, and I oh, think Napstablook yeah. was inside the dummy at the beginning. But then I wanted a little nap. Scare your soul out of your body. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so scary looking. It's got teeth. Mad yeah, it's dummy. so gross. And, and there's, but there's also another character that was a ghost that lived in a dummy, which is very. It's just a weird recurring theme. Ghost the bang out. Dummies. I'm like it's like a weird little like tax. Oh, it's hurting itself. Yeah. Ow, you dummies! Why aren't you aiming your magic attacks? They're just little scribble attacks. Is that how I'm supposed to spare it? Is have it hurt itself? Yeah, yeah, this one, yeah, you don't attack it, you just sort of let it hit itself. Okay. Which, now that I'm really thinking about it, is not, like, truly pacifist, but yeah. whatever. It's like fucking, people do Doom pacifist runs, where they don't hurt, harm enemies directly, but they coerce the enemies into murdering each other. What the hell? Yeah. Because, uh, there's infighting as a major mechanic. That's funny, fake pacifist, you don't do anything. Yeah. An oh, marvelous yeah. ska dance. The like voice clip in the song, by the way, that like hey, ba, da, bo, bo. Yeah, that sound, that? that's Venus from uh, Earthbound again. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Dang, it's so crazy. You must have like a really good musical mind where you can just like think of these samples and things. Yeah. What should I miss? So sad. It's getting cotton. I'll avenge my cousin. My cousin's about to be avenged. Should I? Oh, there we go. A little bit in. It's such a getting cotton all over the dialogue box. <laughs> is it supposed to be like stuffing is like coming out of it? Yeah, I, I wonder. Weird. Like scumbags. Nice. Neopets. Get yeeted. Oh, we're probably gonna call it quits pretty soon. Yeah, I think probably next save file. Yeah. I have to go sort of soonish. So next save file. It's so it moves so weirdly. Mm -hmm. And it like gets, it, 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 it's like one of those fucking animations where they're like, I multiplied every number in the animation by 10. Yeah, it's just wiggling it just gets all more, over the place. Each, each individual movement gets more and more extreme as it gets angrier. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Check. There it goes, physical attacks will fail. And, oh, and also they have the same fight theme as Napstablook, just like, uh... A remix of it too. Oh, fun! They're brothers. They're just what, yeah, because they're cousins. Okay, time for you to go, ghost. Me, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> the dodges have been good. Yeah, I haven't really gotten hit that much. Hey, you guys! Oh no, dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. That's like times ten. Yeah. Freaking out! You're all replaced. He doesn't need friends, he's got knives. My true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage. <laughs> Literally garbage, because this is the dumb. That's true. Mechanical words. Dummy bots, magic missile. By the way, I think in this garbage area, if you inspect one of the like piles of trash, uh, it says, there's like, oh wow. No, that one <laughs> attack destroyed me, shit! It says there's a pile of yellow names. 
Oh, seriously? It's like all the names that like got thrown out when you changed the names. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I thought I checked a few. Okay, well, wow. I'll, try, I'll find them one more time. Here, actually check the garbage around here. Okay, check this one. Piles of garbage. I guess I didn't check every garbage because they all sort of said that. Piles yeah. of garbage that fell. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> wow, actually, damn. Fucking incredible. <laughs> that's good. So, like, if I say beat up on the ghost, can I start the fight earlier? I'm just gonna I don't that. know. Oh. I should have done it. Okay, shit. I did not expect to have all my health go away in a single attack. <laughs> Foolish me. Oops. I should have known. Yeah, that one rocket attack kind of whooped you. Yeah, I just got I got hit by like multiple in a row. Okay, please. But this time I'm gonna really just destroy him with these. Here we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Unloading into this man. I don't know if it actually like counts how many he gets hit by explicitly. I bet it does. I guess that one is a good one. I today. guess it does. He kind of has two mouths. It's like he's got a mouth under his nose and then like a body mouth. Yeah, the body mouth. Like is No weird. Face from Spirited Away, who eats with his torso. Nice. Bunch, so I hit him a bunch too. Okay. Optimal. Maybe one of these times I'll eat one of my cinnamon bonds just to be extra safe. I think you'd ever check out, uh, you're of course under no obligation to do so, but you think you'd ever check out like a traditional bullet hell style game? I played, I used to play, uh, Jamestown a bunch with my mm. friends back in the day. Yeah. So it'd be fun That's to do some one. of those again. And I like that like bug one that you played. Yeah, like, Mushihime-sama. Mushihime-sama. That one's fun. Which fucking, I noticed last night when I was playing Skullgirls, Skullgirls references those old cave shooters. This will not be something like we'll really get the reference to, but chat, do you remember at the beginning of those games? Here, I'll, I'll explain it to you, Lark, because you remember at the beginning of like Street Fighter games where it goes like, if you play this game outside of the state of Japan or the country of Japan, then you are open to legal persecution. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cave Shooters, which Cave is a company that makes like Mushihime-sama and a few other games. Uh, they made a bunch of bullet hell shooters and they had a little warning that says like, this game is for use on Earth only. You will, if, nice. you, if you use it outside of Earth, you'll be prosecuted to the full extent of the jam. Nice. And Big Band, when he spawns in every once in a while, he'll says he'll be persecuted to the full extent of the jam. And I was like, I get that reference now! That's cute actually, the full extent of the jam. What yeah. is that even, what is the I don't know. jam? I really don't know. <laughs> That's the same series that said, thanks playing this game. Wow. I beat one of the games, so the translation is not amazing. Full extent of the jam. That's cool, it works, it works out perfectly for Big Band. Mm -hmm. He's a music man. Yeah. So that's why we gotta play so many other games before we play Skullgirls, so we can catch all those references. Yeah, it's a labor of love. Okay, come here, missiles. Hit his ass. Nice. There we go, a big chunk. That was a big chunk. Dummy buttons. Relying on people that aren't garbage. <laughs> Oops, I missed. Yeah, it's like when the little red dot fades away, then they go straight. But lots of bullet hells, like I was playing that one, Dunbaku Unlimited 3, and I know it looks real generic, but some of them are just so fun and they got such like, they'll have like such crazy like psychedelic bullet patterns that just look fucking awesome and are really fun to sort of like figure out a way to get around. Oh. oh! I shouldn't have been kibitzing. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, actually. Damn. Ah, goddamn. Sad. You can't give up. I like the one that was all the dudes. Hmm? The bullet hell that was all the dudes. Yeah! Oh, that one actually, the ah, game damn, actually sucked. sucked oh, really? Funny. Yeah. Damn, that's sad. It was very, it was like, it was difficult, but like not in the traditional bullet se bullet hell sense. It was like if you lost your power ups, then you were just fucked. It was uh -oh. like if you got hit once and lost your power ups, then it was just like, I think honestly, literally impossible to complete certain levels, where it was just like I just have to restart the entire game. But then it's like if you snowball all the enemies in that game, then it's actually pretty easy. Huh. But it's like if you get hit even once, then you're just fucked, and it's like it might as well just send you back to the beginning, even though it doesn't. Dang. It's yeah. like uh, Moses Super Fightin' Moses 3D, where that one, like, if you... You kind of have to start from the beginning. Because hmm. if you if you die and lose your weapons, you're fucked in the later levels. Oh, yeah. Super Moses. Are you talking about Noah's Ark? 3D? Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark 3D. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Lark played some... Christian games for a Sunday stream recently, including 3D Noah's Ark. 3D Noah's Ark. 
which is immediately I was like, oh, 3D Noah's Ark. I had forgotten about this when doing like my boomer shooter stuff. Is this a Doom wad that I'm going to be able to download and like fuck around with? Turns out it isn't. It's for the Wolfenstein engine, but I did find like a fan-made project that was like recreating Noah's Ark 3D in the Doom engine. Are you only allowed to play Doom engine one wads? Uh, as like it's just rule the rule you've given yourself. Mm, not really. It's just the program that I've been using to run these games. GZ Doom would would, would not work with a Wolfenstein. Oh, I, sad. I would need okay. to like set up a different thing. And I found. Did you see this at all? This shit was amazing. So it's like a level, like a fan-made level or any like game on Doom Engine is called a WAD. Yeah. It stands for Where's All the Data? And yeah, it's goofy. And the fucking, if you take multiple WADs and drag and drop them onto GZ Doom and run them at the same time, it will try to run them all at once. So it'll be like this glitched out, like fucked up conglomeration of a bunch of different games. That's so weird. So you'll be like in Doom, but there'll be enemies from Heretic and shit like that. And like Chex Quest enemies like running around and you're like picking up items from like Hexen and shit like that. That is so it's, weird. I, I, how does it even work? It, it's cause it's literally just trying to run a bunch of different game files at once, basically. Huh. And so I was like, this is great. I can take Noah's Ark 3D enemies oh, and add damn. them to this like corruption glitchy mess. If only, but it was freaking. Uh... But I found a Doomwad fan project that does add in all the enemies. So nice. I can go fight the satanic icon of sin. Uh oh. Jesus. And have it be all farm animals. <laughs> Woo! Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, fuck. Did not chunk him, unfortunately, but now he can heal, I think. Oh. Maybe he's just done. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Uh oh. Cares. Watch out for his ultimate attack. I don't need friends. I don't know if I got knives. Ah! Oh, it's fine. He's out of knives. He's one knife. I'm <laughs> out of <laughs> knives. Wow. I can't hurt you. Look at his animation. It's like he's, his freaking head is flipping out. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, oh. he's crying. <gasps> Napstablook. Who could it be? What the heck? I bet you could probably die if you, like, touch Napstablook's tears there. I'm out of here. <laughs> Napstablook, you saved me. What a good boy. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? What do you think that line is between his eyes? Is that supposed to be like a nose? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Sort of a nose ridge. By the way, that animation you were look on, working on looked fucking awesome. Oh yeah, baby. I'm, I'm in the zone, I'm in the art zone. Sometimes I'm just not in it for ages. I'm doing it, that's gonna be finished. It's gonna be the next Undertale. Wow. No worries, but I'd offer. I'll come listen to music with you. Okay, here's the save. Nice. Oh, it's up here, in case you want to see. You don't. Yeah, sometimes I'm in a mood where I'm like, I'm just gonna crank out the fucking, like, edited content. <sighs> and then sometimes I'm like, I just wanna stream. I just wanna play video games. Recently, I've been kind of streaming. You took my editing power and zapped it. I fucking shat on it. <laughs> nice. Well, that was a good stream. We did not beat the game. No. Kind of by a long shot. But we, we might be able to crank one. it out next. Yeah, I think... There's a chance we could do it next time. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe two more. But uh, regardless, I don't know. Nobody will complain, I don't think, if we take too long. People love Undertale. People love Undertale. It's a good game. Uh, and we'll see if fucking genocide happens. I can't believe we got 400 viewers still. Yeah. This is kind of ridiculous. Should we uh, let's see if we can raid someone? Yeah, who? Is anybody? <laughs> Papyrus' concept art is still up. Oh, God. I don't know if anybody else is streaming right now. And who now. should we raid? Yeah. German 985. I don't know if any of the channels that I'm sub to. I just checked your Twitch channel like a dumbass. Just quickly run over there and open it. <laughs> you could, you could in theory. You're the only live channel I have. Wow, super sad. We could try, oh wait, uh, Joel is streaming it seems. Joel? Let's go raid Joel, fuck it. Vinny Vine Sauce. Uh, fun. Slash raid. But yeah, I don't know when we're gonna do another one of these. Oh, Games Done Quick is playing Isaac? Pretty cool. Here's the I'm thing. I'm gonna fucking watch that. Uh, here's the thing. Would they would they be like, thanks for the raid? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no. <laughs> there, it's games done quick. One time I donated like a hundred bucks to games done quick, and they didn't read out my thing. Hey, speaking of donating a hundred bucks, I think somebody just gave a bunch of money. 
Thanks, you eco leech. Eco leech. Freaking it leeches garbage. All right. Uh, oh, guys, big warning. This channel is intended for mature audiences. I have never not seen it say that. Because everybody, nobody's making content for babies out <laughs> here. I'm going to raid Blue's Clues. Bluey. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you'll join us next time. I don't know when the next one of these will happen. I might even do a solo stream later today. Eat your Whoa. peas. Bye.